We'll be ready in five. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes. Everybody go to the bathroom. Roll up. Roll up. It's roll up time. When everybody got rolled up, we good. What's happening in? Let the bitches see me. Let the bitches see me. And let the bitches see me. Trying to see what's been going on in the world. Time to roll up. <laughs> What's your name, your dog, bro? Jackson. Wanted something more, uh, garden. Yeah, you got all them ladies at the house. Your dog love them. Love them. For real. That's what you were picking. That's what you were picking yeah. up from the redneck dude. Yeah, from the white man. Yeah. Man, that nigga, that funny as hell. about 60 bucks right give me another 60 bucks and i'll give you a full bag of it right now come on i'll give you 50. no fuck no because i'm gonna have to go to the feed store yeah. and buy it. Well, OG, it cost you... me 60 58 plus seven percent what's that oh gee but you you do a hard bar See, I'll tell you what, you want to take that dog up there. Now listen there when you get up there i'm gonna tell you what to get now I'll actually get that other stuff. I got a, I I got got a bag, bag over there. I'm going to let you have a bag, but when you when you get up there, I'm going to have you call me so I can tell you what but the... But the bag ain't free. It's going it, to be 60 bucks. You're going to have to pay for the bag. It's I a said, full bag. I said 50. He said, shit, no. <laughs> shit, no. Shit, no. Because I go up there. I go up there. Yeah, that's going to cost me $65. 62 Before I get to the register. Shit, no. <laughs> White people fun in here. Them white people. I like that right there. That's good shopping music right there. That shit make you want to buy something like that. So I'm going to get a shirt. I got to get a shirt. I got to get that shirt. You know what? Let me see. Let me check, man. Yeah, I'm going to get that shirt right there. Hey. Excuse me. Y'all got it. A medium. You got it. Yeah, that Jay Smith. That music right there, that's just motivation right there. You know that's that Jay Smith. That's that Jay Smith one. Shit, engine light, come on, that music, come on, you don't yeah, need care. I'm gonna make it. That's that shit he said, my man. Like I'm gonna make it. Car start smoking, fuck that. I'm gonna I'm get to the house. Where does candle come from, Chad? Where does candle come from? What happened? They can't. Drop it in the, uh, like a stamp. I don't have that information. Hey, Chad. Hold on. Hey, Ryan. Can you send Joe the P.O. Box information so he can drop it? Sleep, bro. We need him to stamp it. I keep saying I keep saying it on the show and it never pop up, so I like a dickhead. I think it's personal. What are you right now? Fuck you. Who is the motherfucker that can't spell? Is it you? Fucking idiots. Motherfucker can't spell. Why you gonna do subtitles and you can't fucking spell? What have you did subtitles? Spell some shit wrong. Motherfuckers can't spell. You spell shit wrong on the subtitles? Motherfuckers spell can't. C A I N T. <laughs> nah, that's too much of slang, my nigga. Come on. Can't. C A N T, my nigga. <laughs> nigga said C A I N. That can't. That can't. That can't. That's that Florida can't. That can't. That can't. I can't do that, bro. I, I can't do that right now. I can't. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I think 
I don't know how to spell Ben. I've been spelling it wrong for too long. How you spell Ben? Like Ben. Like the person? No, not Ben the person. Like, I've been doing this too long. B-E-E-N. B-E-E-N. Nigga, I put B-E-E-N and I was like, bro, that ain't the right way. I be writing, I be wired following this nigga on Twitter and I read his tweet. I be like, yeah, this nigga a real gangster, bro. He don't use none of the words, bro. He, that motherfucker use just enough so you can understand. Like, this nigga don't even spell enough for the shit to be wrong. I be like, what, man? And the crazy part about it, I know how to read, bro. That I just be on that choose app. to do stupid shit. Like, I DC choose. These the types of shit, like, I'm at home comfortable as a motherfucker. It C-O-M. F-A, table. I'm like, comfortable. Nigga, you are comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you just spell it however the fuck you feel like. But I got to stop, though. Why? Too believe you know? Be- because it's not like that. Like, I text with slang. I read like a motherfucker, but I text with, sh- like, I yeah. text how I talk. Yeah. So I got to start, even Articulate. with the words that I learned, you know, you know what I'm saying? I got to start, you know what I'm saying, using my everyday language. You dig what I'm saying? Because it's very indispensable. Write a letter you dig what I'm jail. saying? Yeah. So now I'm going to have niggas looking like, what is indispensable? Yeah. Nigga, that's a, a regular word, yeah. nigga, necessary. Take necessary out and use indispensable now. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Gangster yeah. niggas don't know how to change that shit. My but cousin you know, wrote it. It don't matter like, how much we read, we have to make ourselves do that shit, though. Nigga, my cousin wrote a letter home from jail to his mama. He on there talking about, what's up, thug love? I'm like, nigga, this... Separate. You got to... That's the time. <laughs> this not one that's, of your That's too far. But we, we got to start doing that, though. But I just feel like it's just a Atlanta thing. It ain't really like we choose to do that. That's just our slang and how we talk. You know what I'm saying? And you like, in New Orleans, got you heard me? I know them niggas text you, you heard me. Yep. Right? So, I know them niggas be texting me like, hey, I'm ER. about to come over there. You hear me? Like, I think they got that as a text signature. You can't keep typing that because you say it after everything you say. Like, I know. No. So it might be like, you hear me a lot. Bitch, you playing. You hear me? So look, yeah. check this out. I'm about to come pick you up. You hear me? Like, <laughs> do they text that shit? Probably. <laughs> no, they do. They do. They do. I know grown ass men that will never put a C and a K together because they still gang members. It's Bruh, just, it's how I it happens. I embrace like people and the way they talk. N- New Yorkers, Calvin, and, and, and New Orleans. I love how they talk. Florida is just a slang. Florida, Alabama, and Georgia, and, and, and Tennessee, and Memphis is a mixture. It's like a, you don't know what you gonna get. It's just, all right, we gonna it's throw like, that to Atlanta. We gonna give Miami they shit. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all got your own little. Yeah, we got our own. Every, every state got their own little saying. Yeah. Like shouty. You know exactly what shouty came yes. from. Yes, it's here in shouty. the south. That's ATL. I don't yeah, give a fuck. Here. Where you from? Shouty? You know what I'm talking about? Hey, talking about. Talking about. Hey, talking about. You know what I say now because of Ryan Cameron? What? Bag back. Bad back. Bad back. That's nah, not nah, even, nah. that's not nah, even we'll, proper. We'll say that shit. Yeah, y'all do. Bad back. Like, bad back. We be like, bitch, who you talking to? No, if you saying like, hey, you, um, your, your car is too close to the curb, bag back a little bit. Now, we'll ask somebody, and hey, you know this nigga? <laughs> you know him? Bag back. Yeah, he about to get his shit fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. polite before we, like, we, we generous before we act the fool in Atlanta. We'll ask somebody like, them, them, them your people. All right, yeah, get your boy. Get your boy. You ever been somewhere and they don't know who your people is? Like, why you ain't ask nobody? I'm from LA. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. Don't so you know what time it is. See, I'm from Mississippi. Motherfucker talk slow as hell in Mississippi. Bread. I ain't realized until I came. Till you left. I came to Georgia and I came back and then I went home and I was like, damn, you don't talk slow in the motherfucker. <laughs> But don't, but then, don't you but like, kind of like embrace that excitement. shit, though? Like, you get out the car, nigga, be like, hell no, ugly, boy, I see you, nigga. Pull up in the motherfucker like that, boy. Hell yeah, how long it took him to tell that nigga, hurry the fuck up and say nope. what you got to say. Nigga got number 10. Shit, we been around these bitches, chilling, bitch, cool, what's up with you, goddamn? <laughs> You coming back to fuck with her later on or what? Look, lady. That boy on that drink. All day. I'm All on day. that call over yeah. He never speak yeah. up. You can see that nigga in church. He can sit for a cup, pray the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? We in this thing, you feel me? You got that old lady with me. You got my kid, you feel me? Just praising Jesus on the good Sunday. 
<laughs> but you <laughs> realize well, you got an accent when you leave, though. Most definitely. Because yeah. everybody be like, man, you, your accent is so strong. I'm like, man, what the hell y'all nigga talking about? Nigga, I'm speaking just like he's. This the part that killed me, though. What? I'm fucking tell me, you don't sound like you from Mississippi, man. I'll be like, you ever heard, you ever been to Mississippi? And they be like, no. no. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to sound like that? Oh, gee. You don't know what the I fuck I think it's just on. white Mississippi, what people think. They don't really know black Mississippi. They I just don't assume. Know why. Every time I think of Mississippi, I think of woods. And don't go there. That's the first thing I think about, too. When I think of Mississippi at home, I think of woods, grass, and trees. Just don't and go there. No it, people first. No people. I think of woods and just don't go there. That's the best part about Mississippi, though. Like, we got the best landscape out of every state. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, Dick. Our greens are greener. Y'all shit is. Our green. dirt is dirty. Dirt. <laughs> Y'all roads are brown. Oh, nigga. That's how you know you in Mississippi. As soon as you see them brown roads. ass, no, the highway brown. Mm -hmm. For some strange reason. You be like, you see that brown ass highway. That's Mississippi. In downtown, y'all see a park slant. Mississippi is brown. The Alabama shit is white. It's like, it's a line. Them Concrete shit just switch colors. Just yeah, dirt. It's, it's crazy. We might as well do the intro. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. We sit here we chilling. rolling up. We chilling. We but rolling. Shot. We smoking, getting some. We ain't got to do this shit. We just gonna do it right off the top, DC. Hey, man. We don't get a lot of ladies in the trap to come through and talk shit with us. Oh, we got a lady. Cause you know it's hard to find ladies that talk shit the way we talk. We shit. got a lady. And she a shit talker. You you married? I just might be a hoe. Uh oh. See. We got titties in the building. <laughs> Yes, but I am married. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I need to introduce to the audience. This lady right here, she's so cold. She's probably the only, only lady who can go to a fucking NFL game and go to jail. I ain't seen, <laughs> I ain't seen no what other women get arrested at the fucking NFL game. You getting arrested at the game? Yeah, she talk big shit, man, all on Sports Center, man. When she get on social media, she talking shit, bro. You talking your shit? She talk her talk shit all the shit, time. Bro. Talk your shit, dude. Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, you know her and you love her. She lives in every black girl's dream. <laughs> Miko Grimes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, man. That's a hell of an intro, right? My nigga, that was dope. Let I me had, tell you. I had to. You are going to make a she lot of people. every black girl's dream? She lives in every black girl's dream. You about <laughs> to make a lot of people happy. I know you see them in the mentions and the comments and they are constantly in my mentions asking me like, when are you going to go on that show? When? And I'm like, Y'all act like y'all want me to just be thirsty chasing niggas around and hop on their show. Damn, shows. all you had to do was say no, shit. No, I, I did. When I said, I finally was like, you know what? Let me just say something. Right. And I hit you. Right. And you was like, it's lit. Yeah, we've been trying to set it up for a minute. You know, yeah. pre-corona, you was moving all around. You was we getting, was both just yeah, moving in. Yeah, so now you're in the city and we had to get you up here, man, talking yeah. shit. Yeah. How you been? What's going on? What's new with you? Oh, <sighs> man, today was... <laughs> Today, this nigga here. Man, today was just rough. You know, I had, you know, I'm a plant-based eater, you know. You, you I predominantly, what, I'm a per, I, oh. I eat plants. Oh. But today I had to have some meat. <laughs> I ate some crab today. What? For the first time? No, nah, I just been probably about three weeks, but like I you was no, just you been cheating. Ew, fake ass yeah, no, 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 no. Let me tell you. Let me I'm tell about you why. Three weeks. No, because I I believe in plants, you know, predominantly plant-based eating, but I see meat as like Hennessy, as a line of coke, what the shit fuck like that. Got going on I'm in just the saying. Vegetable world. I'm just saying. And I don't. Get meat like it liquor. Boy, every time I walk past some meat, I start. Give me two shots of crab meat. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying it's like something that I don't do on a day to day basis. It's just every once in a while it's type a of thing. It's a splurge. Yeah. So you so, eat plants. Yes. So you go outside, pick a plant, and eat it. No. I just go to eat? the grocery store and buy the shit. And I the grocery store be, you talking about them flowers that be in the I'm front? I'm eating. Them you cemetery ass. flowers? See no, I'm nigga. Don't nobody eat that shit. No, you, I'm just saying I don't eat any meat or dairy. You know what the hell I'm talking about, DC. Stop <laughs> playing with me, goddammit. <laughs> hey, man, who else you got here? Anyway, DC? I said, this nigga. <laughs> he started already. Already? You already knew it. Okay. Go ahead. Hold up. I'm just saying, I was so frustrated today that I just wanted to take it out on some meat, basically. So what type of crab leg did you got? Cause you know, I was, whoa. <laughs> you are, you're married, ma'am. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> Lady. Good gracious. <laughs> we are, look how Marvin Gaye looks, you <laughs> nigga. Oh, we, we are respectful. <laughs> 
Listen. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, to take it out on the beat. Good gracious. Oh, let me put the weed down. You, I Damn. Didn't, I didn't choke on my innocence. I mean, Woo. I might uh, need to put the weed down. But I'm saying, what kind, of, what kind of crab lady? I you went get? to Spawn Divots. I'm saying, damn. damn the damn, the king crab. I eat king crab. All right, all right. And a little Tabasco. Up. I was just frustrated with just the shit that's going on with Floyd George and everything. I just was, you know, in my feelings. I've been right. angry all day. I, you know, I felt like shooting somebody for some reason. Judge I was for, just- Judge for Floyd, man. More yeah, I've man. just been mad all day long. And then it's like, I'm a sports reporter. And so I do a podcast about sports, right. you know? And so I can't talk about the playoffs or how the NBA should happen after watching a nigga get lynched like that. Right, right. Like it just don't sit right with me in my spirit. like. Why is that important today? Right. I, I, and, I'm, and I'm watching a lot of niggas that I respect go on with regular life. Like ain't nothing going like on. Like ain't nothing going on. Cause that could be anybody. It could. Yeah, yeah that could be anybody. And I'm, I'm definitely down with the Justice for Floyd campaign. You feel what I'm saying? I, I feel like a lot of people is, you know, when it come to politics, they scared of who they going make what mad. What feathers they gonna You ruffle. see what I'm saying? But yeah. as a as a as a black man, as something even though if politics not your thing, it's still something that you should stand right, up. Have right something to right stand up. Is right is right and wrong is wrong, but then at the end of the at the end of the day, these are the politicians and the people that we place in in the position to secure us or to help, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Help our economy better. But when you see that they not really for us it's a fucking problem. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Hey, hey. Yeah, you we start got a, we seeing got a problem. It. Yeah, because we're electing them. We're putting them in office. We're paying them. We're paying the police. We pay their salary taxes. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then they just get away with it. And it's just like, you know, getting fired ain't enough no more. And then we find out going to you know, going to court ain't right. enough no more. Right. You know, they're just never getting punished the way they would if it was you. If you had sat on a nigga neck like that with your hands in your pocket for almost five minutes, they might electrocute you. But see, I think I think <clears throat> the 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 pinpoint of where everybody be trying to distract people on, you know, they be like, well, the black on black. Mm -hmm. We just okay. We all know that's a that's a big factor, and we got to make sure that we stop that. But I feel like as a race, it's on the race to take care of the that certain race. Let us. Deal you with know that. what I do to combat black on black crime? I don't do no fucking crime. That's my part. Perfect. That's the part that I'm participating right. in. But but I'm but but but, but the, the, the bounce back off that is they don't understand that it's a cover up for what's been going on. Yeah. It's a we in the new you that modern white. day of the same yeah. shit. Like you say, it's lynching, but it's covered up. This is 2020 lynching. You see what I'm saying? You remember when times when it was okay to hang a nigga on the tree? Right. It was okay. And now These it's niggas feel okay like it's okay to kneel to just on a nigga's nigga. neck. Because they feel like it's okay. They not going to get punished. You dig what I'm saying? So I feel like we should take a stand. You know, I'm with that. I'm with all the shits. And that's why when I went on my podcast today, I was like, I'm not finna talk to y'all about the NBA, NFL, fuck that shit. Right. I'm sending a message to whoever, if there's any type of underground shit going on that we linking up and, and getting our people together, call me. <clears throat> a nigga, hit me up. I got resources. <clears throat> I got bread. I can contribute. True. I'm tired. I'm not marching another motherfucking step. I'm not protesting shit. I ain't calling no motherfucking senators and congressmen begging for my mother fucking freedom no more fuck you talking about you know what i'm saying this they didn't take this country by begging they took it by robbing and war Talk to your so shit. what's up what you talking about <laughs> i'm hmm. talking about all that yeah that's just where i was today and that's why i was trying to tell you that i had ate some meat because you was all out your cup yes fuck this I shit. Was out here. you you thugging <laughs> Cut. The I thought crab, with crab legs. Crab legs did all of this. Yes. Man, let's move on. That's just we're yes. Just, just for Floyd, man. Justice, my George nigga. Floyd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That video was very disturbing. Man, what? Yeah, was, very, disturbing. very disturbing. Well, but disturbing. you gotta understand, bro. The nigga sat right there, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like I don't like talking about uh, not really politics. I'm, I don't like speaking yeah. of. The politics in the streets. You see what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I'm on the streets side, on so this side, I don't, don't even do like that. that. I don't and even I dig what I'm the saying. the fact that you even but, understand that. But I got, I stand for something. You mm -hmm. dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So 
I understand and I know the procedures because I done been on that side. You dig what I'm saying? I know how you supposed to apprehend a suspect, bruh. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I know the procedures when you supposed to apprehend a suspect. You're not in danger. We watching niggas get carted off to, Mc to Burger King after shooting up a church, but this nigga- 23 killing yeah. though. Yeah. 23 killing though. And y'all can walk this nigga. You pull this nigga over, set him outside the car, set him down, which you tried to say the nigga was resisting. Yeah. Set the, the nigga sat down himself. Right. And then four of y'all leaning. Lean, listen, yeah. man. In a new report, the fire department says paramedics in the ambulance checked Floyd's pulse several times, finding none. He was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Let me be clear. The arresting officer killed someone. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry is calling for the arresting officer, Derek Chauvin, to face criminal charges. He'd be alive today if he were white. Listen, man, if you really think niggas finna keep going for this shit, shit finna be real nasty, man. I'm just saying. I'm you gotta understand, it's shits. so many people out here who ain't really finna keep going for that shit. But you gotta understand, them folk been ready. They've been waiting. That's why we, that's why They've we, been ready to, 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 they, they want that. We don't have any leaders. We don't, I don't know if we do, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm speaking out of turn, but I don't, don't see no leaders doing what we really need to do. But, you know, but you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to tell you the real, the real, real of the real, real. And you just got to be ready to die. The price of freedom is death. You see what I'm saying? Motherfucker got to be already have that first mentality of we are the sacrifices for in order for the change to come. Because first of all, mm -hmm. y'all put sad nigga ain't gonna do shit. So we gonna be the ones that let's show these nigga we not playing. So y'all put sad nigga can continue to right. live better. Better. So you they see can what respect I'm saying? Cause now. then they not gonna respect that shit that y'all doing. They gonna respect this shit. You yep. feel what I'm saying? So. Then that's what the Malcolm X thing came about. That's where he why. was like, okay, I understand. No disrespect to no sides, because I'm I'm behind everybody. Martin took the approach of we're gonna be positive. Let's speak it out, let's let's talk it out, which which is cool. That is part of the you solution. Know, he did that. But but I'm telling you to, to other people that were thinking like, oh, that don't work. Yes, it do. It's part of the solution. But they gotta also know that we have a Malcolm X plan. We have a Malcolm X force because they think, oh, man, because right. we can sit down and come to a consensus, but once everybody leave that table and they still want to do what they want to do. Oh, no, 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 no. I could have sworn we just came to a consensus. Now See? somebody, now we got to shed blood on that side. I'm with that shit. I'm with all that shit. Oh, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. It's I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact I want something for my community. I would love to see Take you. Take a look at my record, man. I extended the voting racks 25 years. I have a record that is second to none. You ain't black. Or well, look at my African American. <laughs> isn't he mag? Isn't he, he wonderful? Is wonderful. Well, but I'm saying, who was, was he talking to Charlamagne the guy when he said no, that shit? No, Kanye. Wasn't it Kanye? No, it was Joe Biden. He said that. No, to Joe Biden said that to Charlamagne, but and then Donald, but Donald Trump, Trump said, said that, that about Kanye? some random nigga who oh, oh, just oh, at oh. work. That nigga just walked by. Look at my African American. I thought he said it to Kanye. <laughs> yes. <I laughs> no, nah, it was just some nigga. He was the nigga. I, I think the uh, the Trump one was worse. Look at my African American. Yeah. Lighter, man. It was almost like he was on a rope, like like a, a chain. I've been I've been trying to vote for Obama for the last. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, so uh, you know I'm at with politics. I'm still know, stuck. I, like, I don't know when it's going to be. I voted for the libertarian. The but the next time I get drunk and I see my niggas, guess Anybody, what I'm going to say? Anybody. Look at my African-American. <laughs> Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> I can't wait to use that in context. So this year, this the new one right here. Nigga said, what? Well, you don't vote for me, you ain't black. 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 What's, some for it? What's some other shit you don't do, you ain't black? I feel like if you don't park your car and turn the wheels. Oh, turn the music down when you parallel park. You or like, park in the handicap because you don't feel like nobody old pulling up. I'm saying like when you swerve up in the parking lot, like if you don't then leave you see the somebody old pull up, you like, I ain't backing out that handicap. <laughs> <laughs> then she look at you, then you try to look old. <laughs> <laughs>
Mm. Ah! Nigga here, bro. <laughs> she talking about, oh, he got Parkinson's? <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes the old people are waiting for you to get out of the car. Come on, let me see. Man, what you smoking over there? Man, here? bitch, move. Hey, anybody old? Bitch, anybody That's because he parking handicap a lot. He do. Did no, you? I don't. That's a fine. Just play with them folks if you want to. Why well, you got it? You got That's it a, a couple we'll times. call the police on your ass, but you got it a couple times. Yeah, what? I walked in. The, I walked in the store, my nigga. I parked in the handicap, bro. I probably was in that bitch for thirty seconds. I come back out, boy. Twelve back there running my plate. Tickets already ready. <laughs> Speaking oh, of, and then you see my young guy with all energy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of handicap, guess who been online roasting the shit out of people, DC? Mm. Wheelchair man. Oh, I saw him on Duval page. Exactly. <laughs> he been threatening Duval for the longest, though. Wheelchair man got a 357. Play with him. I'm not going He's to. He's sitting on it. <laughs> I'm not going to, because the nigga way too smart. Yeah, that boy's strong. When, I, when that nigga dapped me up at that show. That, on that nigga's shoulders big as hell. Oh, I'm going to dislocate my shoulder. But you know what? He got to be, because he doing a what? lot of these. Crazy. Shout out to Wheelchair Man. I don't if he know. grab you, he's serious. I don't know who the fuck editing these videos for him, but, right. but he is online talking big shit with subtitles. He know yes. we don't know what the fuck we'll he's saying. We don't know what he's saying. Shout out to my boy Wheelchair Man. That's and why that girl, why I know how to type. And to that lady who let us ride all around that arena in her scooter. Yes. I don't know her I name. I need to send her some batteries. But I've been wondering how you've been doing <laughs> doing this. And I want to send her some that. batteries. I want to make sure her shit stay charged. She was so Did you hear what she So she was like, let me no, get up here and do this so we can go faster. Like, so you been racing this scooter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she, when she see other people in scooters, she said, hit that bitch. I want this, in I shed. want this it on site. Like if they just pull up beside each other in Walmart. And they want to see like how two, fast like it's two Corvettes. Like, hold on, what you doing? I'll pull over there now. <laughs> <laughs> you got the best motor. Exactly. <laughs> your shit ain't charged, man, all the way up. Wake your ass up. Yeah. Hey man, who else you got in here with us today? I got my boy Jackson, no Doberman gang. He's sleeping now. This nigga's all feet. Look, he's sleeping. Hey, here. we got to welcome Jackson to the Trap House too. This is the first official Trap House dog. Hey! Yeah. hey Jackson. Jackson! Wake up! Yeah, Look, yeah. he like, what y'all niggas talking about? Good yeah, morning! Yeah. What's up, Doberman gang? That's what it is. I hope he remember yeah. all of us so when he get big enough to bite people and shit. Oh, he's gonna be, be like, good. You know, he'll know that we related. I ain't even know this nigga take naps. He take about three naps a day. Yeah. You gotta get another dog around and rough him up a little bit. You gotta get pushed around a little bit. Dog, he definitely thugging. Hand me that swisher, bro. It's time for Never another blunt. Oh, let's move on to some more world happiness while we're in the mood. World <laughs> They said about, hey, speak, you fuck with the sports. What do you What's think about up? the NBA going to Disney World? Um, I think that um, the virus happened, you know, we need to stay home to flatten the curve. And once the curve was flattened, it's kind of like a only the strong will survive type situation. Yeah. And these billionaires want their coin. They have they have taken enough L's at this <laughs> the point. The economy gonna fall. I, what? Uh, if then the world ain't up, the economy gonna fall. Yeah, <laughs> and they want their money and why not use their most powerful, you know, unit of people, black men, how much, playing sports. How, that's what I was about to ask you. How much of that do you think is just because they miss niggas? Like, what what, what part of that thing? We like, are, they really just miss niggas. Like, what, the I miss world. my niggas. Like, no, like the NBA owners. They like, need oh. us. They need us. We entertain them in so many ways, and this is one of them. Yep. You know? And if they if they could get it crowdless, why not? You know? They now, gonna, they gonna I'm, take I'm it I'm gonna be real. They missed the NFL draft. That shit is like a slave trade-off. Yes, it is. Them folk be on there, they be like, how much you want for that nigga? Shit, I, I, I'll give you 10 million for that son, bitch. Put him on the third slot. God damn it, Judy, shit. Now, the Bulls done got the first goddamn pick. These niggas around here dunking and shit. They got the best pick of them. Yo, Re remember, we missed exactly Lebron. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what the draft is. That's I'm crazy. telling you, they be betting on nigga, bro. I'm mean, bro, I was watching Michael Jordan last day, man, when they couldn't get that white boy. Hey, they mad When, when they hell. went all the way over there, couldn't get that white boy, they roughed that white boy up, man. Yeah, they was what? mad as hell. That nigga Scotty came to his sense. He was like, man, them folks finna try to go trade me for that white boy. <laughs> and he ain't really want to come, so I, I came back to play. Yeah. <laughs> that really what it was, man. Them folks. No. Nigga, nigga done flew all the way to Croatia. 
to go train me, you fuck nigga. Man, you come on, man. Give me my jersey, right? man. Hey, man. Give my jersey. Give my shit. Give my, give my when shit. I grew you didn't know where the crow was. Give my goddamn when jersey, bro. Michael Jordan was my idol. <laughs> And after watching the last dance, talk your shit. He's oh, still shit. my idol, but I never want to meet this nigga, bro. Why, Michael bro? Michael Jordan I, is the meanest, pettiest. He bringing that shit out of you, you though, know bro. What I don't need yep. that type yep. of greatness he brought is. out of me. He, it he out. got to yell at you to Man, let you know. Man, this how petty this nigga Stop. was. Hold on, this how you this at that this that point era. of the so documentary. That's, whoopings, that's all that whoopers was legal. That was real. Yeah. Listen, niggas was getting whooped, so that was normal what he was doing. He was tapping the ass. This is when I knew. Michael Jordan was petty. Ooh. When the nigga was gambling with that nigga for quarters. <laughs> and he kept. And he kept the nigga money, yeah. man. He kept hey, I, Michael Jordan then got that man whole parking man check and laughing about it. All right. Over some quarters. He making these motherfuckers flip quarters six, eight hours before the game. I'm bro, through, Mike. Bro, no, bro. fuck you ain't. No, flip you ain't. again. Uh. <laughs> 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 I can't beat you. Your thumb's bigger than mine. <laughs> My kids got to go to school. Fuck them kids. Go again. Damn. Yes. He beating them so bad, he giving them three chances to beat him to his one. That's how bad he killing them. <laughs> he was taking all the quarters? All the What episode it is? I'm on episode all six. All the quarters, the, all the food uh, stamps. No, it happened. The, the, the white-haired man. Oh, see, I'm, I'm on episode I'm on, I'm on episode six. I think, yeah, I think it, it come be, right at right in there, right, right in the middle. I'm full, see, but you know what? The only thing I ain't like, bro, if you go back and watch every every, every episode, none of them players really fuck with kids. Nah. Every time them kids are like, hey, hello. <laughs> hey man, get your ass on, bro. <laughs> That's why they like that. No, but you know what? It was <laughs> real. not fuck with kids, man. No. Hey, how do you, man? Get your little no. fuck ass on, man. No, DC, that shit is real. How the hell you get back here, man? <laughs> that shit is real. And the only reason they do it now is because of social media shaming. <laughs> they will the gang up on you in your comments if they see video you tell the kids to get the fuck on. And so they guilt you into doing that shit. Dennis, Dennis Robin, the only nigga I see him give his shoes to a child. He walked up, he was like, hey, Dennis, I love you. Uh, yeah, man. That's why I ain't like when Amari Rashad got Fuck out of here, line. man. <laughs> Remember they was interviewing Amari Rashad and he was like, Michael Jordan, he would always find a kid who had no chance in the world of meeting Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan and he would meet him. I'm like, you lying motherfucker. Like Michael <laughs> Jordan, hey man, go get them white kids up there at the top. Yeah, Bring nah. them down here, let them meet a great no, he nigga. Didn't. Like, no! <laughs> No, he didn't. Go get them niggas way you know, up there at the top by them, jer by them retired jerseys. Bring them down so they can meet and get a picture with me and Scotty. That's Fuck the rest of, of them niggas. They want to meet me and Scotty. That's <laughs> what a lot of the players are saying happened. They saying that it was totally curved to make Michael look like a saint, even though they tried you know, to show some of his it was flaws, his idea. That's and they, why. And, and they Fuck said, it. Of course. Yeah. It's about them me. Don't show them. that bullshit. <laughs> And the media was so here back then. No mic used to be in their face. So Didn't nobody how do you feel? know who the fuck Horace Grant was. He should have put his goggles like back on. How about those points, Michael? I'm like, but y'all got these motherfuckers. I can't even breathe. You sniffing, Mike. All right, Man. I love the game. I had 30 points. I'm like, get your bitch ass on. Man, Mike was sunning them niggas, man. Yeah, Can you was. imagine being a grown ass professional athlete? You got to ask another nigga on the team for some tickets. <laughs> And then thank you. Gotta go talk to Mike, and nigga. Then thank him for Mike, not Mike gave a nigga one ticket, and told the nigga leave. Hey man, go on now. I already no, gave you ticket. One, nigga. He was like, all right, Mike, don't put that on there. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, nigga. Take my fucking ticket back. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I don't give a fuck. I like that, bro. You can be aggressive with sports playing. You feel me? Like on the court, I can call you a bitch and still fuck with you. I'm just getting in your head. Like I can't call you no bitch on stage. Nigga, we tell jokes. Yeah. That's a different, like, yeah. it, ain't, it ain't competitive, nigga. Like, yeah. nigga, I admire what you do. Even though they admire what each other do on the game, I'm here to win a championship. We not here to win, win a, championship a championship on no, each other. Yeah. We here to win a championship with each other. You, you know see what, what I'm saying? You know what they left out the documentary, though? What? what? Besides, they didn't, besides his wife. They didn't have no segment in the documentary about his jeans. <laughs> Them big-ass jeans he had on. Or the earrings. <laughs> they should have did something about <laughs> them jeans, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that nigga was, alcoholic, that nigga eyes brown as fuck. Hey, Jordan, that Jordan was a trendsetter. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, well, nigga, the we'll great player of all time, time nigga eyes brown. Scratch? Will make your eyes brown. That shit nah, that's crazy. from drinking all the cognac and smoking them cigars. I think it's what both of y'all said together. 
I don't give a fuck, man. I wish I could have just seen this nigga play. Like, even them highlights and shit was like. How old are y'all? I'm 28. I'm so you gotta understand, he, he retired in 98. I was only six. My daddy wasn't watching no game. Nigga watching Sanford and Son, man. I was playing while Jordan was playing. While y'all niggas watching the finals, I'm over there. <laughs> Daddy, can I watch the game? But he don't stop. Lamont. This is all I see. Hello, hello. I'm coming to join you. I'm like, man, this nigga need to get there. Go away. Lord, bro, out of all the cold shit I ever saw Michael Jordan do, this one I knew the nigga was going to be a legend forever. When he started dropping Jordan commercials and they ain't even had the fucking shoes in them, and then niggas was actually asking you, bro, you seen them new Jordans? Nigga, where the fuck I'ma see them at? Nigga, Jordan used to talk like a slave back in the day. I just, I just want to make sure that the team is just. <laughs> he did. We did. I just want to be better. I, I just, I just want to make something out of myself. <laughs> he did. I just want to make something out of myself, and I just, I just want to do good by other people. <laughs> I said, like, God, that, that nigga the richest. She had a richest nigga talk back then. I just want to do good by people. It just be the, the greatest if, basketball player of all time. I don't know <laughs> if you noticed this, but Michael Jordan answered every question with the game of basketball. He, I, no answer. It's just the game of basketball. Anything you ask that nigga, it's the game of basketball. <laughs> I just want I just want to be the best player of all time. <laughs> I just want to be on the bull franchise for as long as I can be. It's a level long there has for me to be here. Scottie Pippen, that's the greatest pair. We got Dennis Rodman, our Dennis hat is so crazy. We got Paxson. Phil, I love Phil. Who else was on there? Doug Collins. I hate Jerry. He hated Jerry. Oh, he has so Everybody many, hated Jerry. Yo, he has so much rude shit for Jerry all the time. So I, many short Don't smoke jokes. that. Don't stop the growth. Short, short, short He's jokes. just sitting there. <laughs> All right, Michael. <laughs> hey, did you see what Steve Kerr said? Michael Jordan punched him in the face and looked right at the camera and said, yeah, it made him respect me. Only a white man said shit. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Yes. <laughs> Michael Jordan he punched him in the face. He ain't there yet. He ain't there yet. I ain't there yet. Oh, he fuck, man. Yet. He punched him in the face. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the car used to rough him up too, though? What's my boy, uh, Oakley? Oh, yeah, he punched yeah. Scotty Pippen oh, in yeah. the face. Oh, he slapped Scotty in the yeah. face. Scotty, I fuck with you. You're a real country nigga, but yeah. he did. He's a rookie here. We got to get a beat by, by he, you today. He get treatment like this. I'm going to tweet next year this time, all right? Oh. All right? Oh. Yeah, OK. <laughs> he did. He, he smacked he let you. Nigga smack he was like, yeah, ain't you going to talk to me? Kind, ain't it? Yep, told you. Pat. Scotty oh, Pippen. Scottie. He Scottie laughed it off. <laughs> Cold yeah. nigga, bro. He did not deserve what Future did to him. Who? Oh, Future. He did not deserve that. What'd he do? He allegedly slept with his wife. Allegedly. Yeah. Even if he Y'all didn't. So pity. Even if he didn't, the internet then took the shit and ran with it so hard that Scotty don't deserve that, especially after the documentary then came Scottie out. Them, but Scotty done moved on, though. Yeah. I saw him at the nail salon with a whole other bitch. That's good. Cool. That's cool. You Scottie know what I appreciate about that era of the NBA? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. He got long ass chin. <laughs> All the groups is like a president. It, they held it down. Mm -hmm. I really love yeah, playing in that era. All the holes with Michael held it Jordan. Down. <laughs> right. I really love playing with Dennis Rodman, <laughs> and they were both the greatest players I ever played with, and that was that. <laughs> 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 I'm like, man, hell no. But then they, you can't get mad at Scotty for signing that, that deal either. You got to think about it. Seven mil for seven, uh, I mean, you, seven you years for 17 mil. You on yourself. You do, but back then, seven years for 17 mil, bro. That was bro. low for him. You know, it just made me realize he didn't really know how dope he was. Nobody knew. Shit. He didn't know. You should know. Shit, your agent didn't know either. They looked at you like, nigga, you got to get 17 mil, boy. <laughs> I'm going there and take that 17 mil. What you, what you think I should do? Boy, if I was you, I'd go in there and take that 17 mil, boy. <laughs> fuck you going to go in there and say Shit. no? Scotty Pippen knew he was going fuck? back to Arkansas. That was really like 30 million in Arkansas. But he yeah. didn't He didn't start playing to after he got like, like older of age. So niggas wasn't, they had hoop dreams, but niggas was accidentally going to the NBA around that time. They like, I'm good. Yeah, you great. You heard, you see what how the Michael and them talk? Yeah, I just want to play basketball. <laughs> yeah. They say that I'm great, so shit, I'm just coming out here to play. 
They don't fucking no, know. You can, you can tell. You can see greatness. Scotty just happened to go to a smaller school, so you don't get like put on a big stage. So what? So what type of deals were them niggas getting back then when money was real and had value? No, you had to. You had to have an a, an agent that negotiated. Like I know how the shit favor, work. And it just seemed like his agent just was taking whatever instead of. Okay. Okay. You got to If they offer you something, you have to go hire them. Okay, but 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 yeah, but then but then he signed that seven mil. He signed that seven year for seventeen mil. He didn't become a household name until he grew in the game. But, you see what I'm saying? But yes, your agent's job to know where you gonna be at. It's it's more like the the team is gonna pay you for what you've already done. It's right. your agent's job to get you paid for what you've gone do. Right, but you gotta understand, he didn't come in as that player. You see what I'm saying? He grew to become that player. Man, and if you see- See, when Mike seen, came in, they already knew have Mike- you seen Scottie Mike Pippen play, championship. If you seen Scottie Pippen play, I, I'm a basketball player, I played professionally Most too. Most definitely. If you seen Scottie Pippen play in college, and you see him put up next to Michael Jordan. Right. You already know that's magic if you really know basketball. So what? So what team did he start when he came in first? The Bulls. They drafted him. Who? The Bulls. The Bulls drafted when he first came in. Yeah. Man, you know I'm young nigga. I don't know about that shit. Yeah. Damn, I forgot you wasn't born yet. Hell no, nah, nigga. I told you, nigga. I was six years old when that nigga retired. I be forgetting. I came back when the nigga played with the Wizards, and I'm like, that is not the nigga <laughs> that I've been hearing about. Man, that nigga out there, got that. I'm like, that's my uncle, my nigga. Like, that's my neighbor, nigga. I know him. This is not MJ. Man, I'm gonna tell you. But he still was the ass. The most heartbreaking shit ever, though. What was when we saw Michael Jordan miss that goddamn dunk. He was wide open. Mm, that was when we knew he was wide That was like watching Mike Tyson get knocked out. Mm. We was like, what the fuck? No. If this nigga can't do shit, he can do it. He missed. That, yeah. that motherfucking ball bounced all the way back yeah. to the niggas down there. He was Talking on about a, when he was on the Wizards. He was on a fast yeah. break all by himself. That's what we knew. The Damn. motherfucking ball went back to the other niggas. Jordan, nigga was, he was down there just by real, himself. Jordan could have got average 20. Or even longer because of his how elite he is, but it ain't right. the same game. It's it's a. I wash. know when he came play for yeah. the Wizards, I was like, man, he don't need to stick his tongue out. Oh, the nineteen eighty <laughs> average up. salary. I'm like that ain't that nigga. One hundred and seventy three thousand dollars. Who? <laughs> That's the average salary in nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty with how much? One seventy three. 1980? I ain't even gonna say the little 500 because I don't know who was petty enough to be throwing them niggas 173,500. Who put the 500 on that? Nin- 1980, who was getting in the NBA? Oh, that's for the NBA. Yeah. Michael Jordan took it to a global le- level. Exactly. He turned him and, and um, uh, this commissioner, uh, David Stern, they took it global. It was in 80 countries at first. And then when Michael Jordan took off, it went to 250 countries exactly and that's yeah. when you have to start paying niggas more money and scotty was on that ride Most definitely you know i ain't saying i ain't against you nigga you know yeah. this nigga been you. selling me five six pair of shoes a year for the last 20 Same years one. i'm fucking eating he eating off you who michael jordan yeah man he doing stupid eating he ain't just eating this nigga is harvesting yeah oh i said this shit on twitter <laughs> gave, gave <laughs> got them all riled up what you say nigga? fuck keep letting travis scott make nikes Mm, huh? I didn't even know he made it. What happened? Time out. <coughs> All these goddamn Travis Scott Jordans keep coming out and Nikes and Air Max and shit. Travis what? Scott? Yes, the, the rapper. They trash? I'm not saying they trash. What they at? Let me see. I mean, look. but as, and as a real I'm nigga, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not lit saying, that the nigga got a Nike deal. I'm not saying they trash. I'm not saying that. But enough is enough. Enough is enough. Nigga, you can't. I'm, what? Oh, here we go. It's that same shit Kanye said. Oh, okay. Lady Gaga is the president of Kodak Pictures. Them, them. Lady Gaga don't know shit about cameras. He's got the big heels, the big soul mm-hmm. on a lot of them. And them, 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 yeah. them here, them here, Nike. That's what I'm yeah. saying. They not bad. See them young true. nigga shit right there. That's some, that's some, that's some new era of fashion shit. You know they ain't back in the, that back in the day. Y'all was like on that. You know what I'm saying? Them shell toes and shit because you got your, your hard feet. Wait a, support this. Wait a minute. Wait the a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Support that cat muscle. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, young All blood. All them low pictures. Wait y'all a minute, young blood. Y'all had strong knees no. the way y'all were got down. No, young blood. Oh, y'all niggas ain't you, talking. You took me too far back there, young blood. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't that far back. I'm back there. there. That's no, where I'm at. I ain't shell toe. I ain't, I ain't shell toe. I ain't gonna lie. Shell toe smooth. I ain't shell toe. Yeah. No shirt. 
You just got the, and that's when the hair was in, and you got yeah. the hair. Well, you ain't got no hair. That'll just come slap your shit. Yeah. Kiss me how young nigga. God damn. You gotta do you me gotta like that. You gotta have that. So they don't like ground beef no more. Mm-mm. No. I pull that shit out. It's like, ew, cut your chest. Your chest is making me itch. <laughs> Give me a rash. All right, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> Went through puberty and I love it. Niggas, be bo- <laughs> niggas got a body wax now. That's why you gotta find you an uh, experienced woman who gonna just let you flourish how you are. Yeah. <laughs> she done been through everything. She took me forever to get this shit, ho. You better love this 20 shit. boyfriends. Two husbands, one fiance that had got shot. She just want a nigga that's alive Ooh. that don't hit her. Ooh. She's an older woman. <laughs> uh, older Been through woman. some shit. Yeah, she I, gonna I, accept I, you just as you are. I like forties when like right after they like hit like right after menopause, right after. Right, I'm talking about right after they like come I out. I feel that like shit, I'm like, in the sweet spot in life. You know what I'm saying? That's the fifties. <laughs> Huh? That's the thing. Uh-huh. Someone I, I like early in the fall to get that shit out of the way. And like I'm age, in, I like where I'm at. Cause you I'm like, I'm 37. I'm probably, we, probably, we do this shit a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I like where I'm at. Like, I'm well, 37, so like, ladies who my age, they already did all the shit they want to do. They can like, be tricky sometimes, too, though. been in two or three relationships with niggas they really like. Now they can really just fuck with me and be cool. Like, they can you be done, tricky, though. You done checked all your highlights off. I'm not the nigga that's about to help you live the rest of your dreams. We're just about to chill. Like, it, <laughs> I don't want to go. Going to the barbecue, yeah. and I'm going to be the ride. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They got some plates. Oh yeah. man, I this is sad. Two. You know what? Listen to what? this. This is, but this is why I try to tell my friends that at some point we gonna have to start sharing y'all niggas. That's what I've been trying we to tell. Have to just accept Women gonna have to accept this sharing. too. Though. Write a book. Look. Write a book. Let me look at the camera. I'll help you promote. This. Ladies, y'all gonna have to accept, like accept the fact that we settle for y'all too. Don't feel right. like you're the only one settling. <laughs> You no. not a nigga type. We settled for you, bitch. It's an agreement. <laughs> bitch, I settled with this bitch. Oh, you th- oh. think you're doing me a favor? Ah, ah. Please stop thinking you niggas first option, lady. Yeah. That's that's all I can tell no, you right now. No, but that's why as in a woman, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, with the, the pickings, of, if you want a black man today, the pickings are slim. If you, you want a I'm black saying? woman yeah. today, yeah. You got to build up from scratch. You got to go to the Tesla factory. <laughs> right. Because the ones who are outside that door do not like you. You a black man. You ain't shit to them. I'm telling you. There's yeah. some niggas who already pissed them you. off. Yeah. And it's got she's trying to get back. She gets some get back. She's going to try to get you, man. Yeah. But I ain't going to lie. You know what it is? I love y'all, man. I can't help it. Y'all. I can't help it. It's just a journey. Finding out you ain't shit. Right. <laughs> that's, like, what oh, I, that's my motto. Bitch ain't shit. I love it. I knew it. <laughs> That's my motto. Everybody ain't shit. Well, you just got to find you somebody either. that you can be ain't shit, shit with. Together. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know I ain't shit. Can yeah. you tell me you not shit? So I was, I'm going to find yeah. it out anyway. Yeah. Be with genuine people who not shit. I'm through trying. Next motherfucker I meet, I'm just going to be like, pinky sweat, you ain't a hoe. Like, if you lie on the pinky sweat, you's a low down motherfucker. <laughs> I'm right. through asking all this shit. Right. All you got to do, pinky sweat, you not a hoe. That ho. shit do lock it in like, ooh, that shit be like, It means weird. something. She ain't no hoe. It matter. Yeah, yeah it's like if she sweat. can't, don't hesitate neither. You ain't one. You pinky sweat. Uh, you uh, pinky no sweat. Oh, okay, now. Nah. That's fucking crazy. But hey, there's nothing wrong with being a hoe. No, isn't it? Isn't. it ain't. Why would you be a safe it. hoe? You gotta be a safe yeah. hoe. A you gotta be a safe and clean hoe. Whatever hoe that sound like a grocery be. store. A safe hoe. Safe Ooh, hoe. I'm gonna go to safe hoe. <laughs> they keep all the shit. They never went out of hand sanitizer. Come on. <laughs> safe hoe. What? Come on. Safe hoe. Your bed got to have a spring. Two Come for one it. coupons. Let's do it. And a headboard. Bitch, you got to have a headboard. It is nothing wrong with that. I do not want my head on the wall. Holes provide a service to the <laughs> ecosystem. I think so. They provide sexual experiences for people and they get everybody kind of like started. Who, who hoes? Hoes, yeah. Because yeah. if you think about it. Hoes like a starter kit. Yeah, exactly. It lets you know what life is about to be about. Right. Stress relief. You're going to like it, but guess what? I don't fuck with you. Right. Because you could change any, at any moment. Right. Right. As long as you don't hang out where you used to be a hoe at. And don't nobody know you a hoe? Like, if you move 30 <laughs> minutes from where you used to hoe at, you straight. Straight, you right. start all the way over. Yeah, you can just long, don't try to start over where you was hoeing at. Because nah, everybody nah, nah, seen nah, you. Everybody, everybody, know, everybody know you a hoe. You got to go right. somewhere else. You got to go somewhere They go to the net town over right. there. They don't know you about it. <laughs> right. They heard about you, but they don't know they you. They don't know about you. 
Oh, I'm from over there. What you doing over here? Oh, you know, I just, you know. That's how they talk to me. You know, I just, you know. <laughs> they always be like, you know, I just, you know. I be like, bitch, I don't know shit. I don't but know. I got I thing. guess. <laughs> she used to be a hoe, I can tell. <laughs> That's what everybody say. All, all the New York hoes move to Atlanta to start over. I ain't grab bitches. Them hoes be so aggressive. Oh, and my And then they ain't used to shit. They'll, be, they'll try to chump you off and then be hungry. I just, let them, I just let them go all the way out. Fuck you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mad, but do you want to go to the Waffle House or no? <laughs> she getting in that goddamn car. Exactly. That'd be Thank your own. Now, but I fuck with the New Yorkers. New York women like still them. think they in they New York. You just got mad at me. I, we way down in College Park. She going to leave walking. Tell me she going with Ned. Like, this is not New York. That's not happening. It's not. Yes. I mean, it's I had, only like I had, 100 block. No, it's not. Girl, it don't work like that. These are miles down here. <laughs> <laughs> these can't just go in a these are line. miles. This is not. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get dark at some point. You might get on the highway. You got to get on the Uber. Yeah, it ain't just city all the way back ain't to where no you block. stay. You, ain't no train. Come we on. Got, we, got, we got red light. Mm -hmm. We will bye bye. You get hit. Oh, Better stop playing. I'm get my life together. New Yorkers think they can just walk in the street. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Walk. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, me me fool. You. Bitch, you see me. Fuck wrong with you. They will hit you out here. Bitch, I keep going. But this is hit and run. I'm going I'm to I'm keep it real. Look, dad in the rearview mirror like, shit, that bitch got up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Won't nobody say this, but niggas from New York love down south. All they gotta do is come down here and drive for the first time. The niggas never go back to New York. Hey, bro. I see what the rent is. Man, them hey, niggas get down here and get to driving and look. Cavalier rental car and never go back hey, to New bro. York. Yo, son, we driving and everything. I got mad licenses. Hey, bro. I got a yard, parking space. Yeah. Every time I come home, where's your mother? I'm you parking, can, son. You can park anywhere. Yo, son, I'm whipping. My girl, she a security guard and shit at McDonald's. We eating down here. Hey, bro, I love this city, bro. I'm selling weed all in the apartment complex. Selling like an ounce a week. You and I got my job. Run. Nigga, so I'm never going back. Here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you ever did a hit and run, bro? You ever hit somebody that got the fuck on? Yeah, yeah. Somebody else caught and pulled up. I can't see where the police. Hey, pull over there right quick. You ever hit a motherfucker who caught wasn't shit and they ain't care about it? <laughs> like, you just bump him a little bit. They get out and look like, man, that motherfucker's already fucked up. Go ahead, bro. That, yes. that motherfucker been fucked up. Man, ain't worried about this shit, bro. Go that ahead, man. Your car fucked time. up. You straight? You straight? I'm straight. Go ahead, bro. I had somebody have a dent and try to act like it. I the one who put the dent in there. <laughs> but damn, bro, I ain't even had that dent. <laughs> nigga, that dent orange. Nigga, my car black, bitch ass. Nigga, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> man, no, but your car putting off orange marks, bro. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, you try to pull one. You got me fucked up. Y'all been oh, watching the versus battles? Yeah. Nope. I'm trying to come up with I some have. shit. My damn, son. I ain't standing there. Who you, gonna who you wanna battle? That shit dumb and fuck. Hmm? Not tune it in and nobody battle on. No. Tell the Dave on some no. real shit. That shit is stupid. That shit is stupid, man. That shit. You got man. a song? Hey, DC, play your song. I'm about to, oh, we about to battle. Who? Oh, hold on. What's the plan? Who, who, who about? Man, I'm about to watch these old ass nigga battle and they Wi Fi shit. Fucked up, not these niggas in the middle of this shit. Like, man, what the fuck going on? <laughs> Nigga paying jack all the way up on their ass. God damn it. Hell going on. <laughs> these niggas all in the camera like, what the fuck going on back there? I'm like, man, I'm not watching this stupid ass shit, man. <laughs> Man, that's the dumbest shit in the world, bro. I Speaking of the older generation, I enjoy it. <laughs> Fuck both of y'all. Shit. Y'all got me fucked up. Man, I enjoy I'm gonna see this shit out there. Man, what the hell going on back here? <laughs> he don't even know how to stand. He like, he ready to turn up. You got me fucked up, man. I ain't watching this shit, man. Man. Yeah, I, I, the last one I really watched was Jill Scott and uh, oh, Eric about it. That shit hit. Hey man, that shit. I ain't gonna lie, I did tune in. But that shit had me so turned on. I'm watching that motherfucker. My that shirt off. I'm on the couch. I'm like, that hey. music was sensual <laughs> hey. as fuck. <laughs> that shit was so sensual. I kept checking my phone like they was on the way over there. I'm like, shit, the shirt is off. Yes, I was cooking <laughs> watching that shit. That shit was lovely. Eric Badu, Eric Badu, one of them, one of them cool that. I know I can't come to play, I, like, I can't play with her. And I got to have stamina, cause she gonna talk bad. Bro, I wanna be her I'm dick talking about so she bad. gonna talk bad. Oh, I love to be Erica about she, I'm talking point. about she gonna talk. And she gonna make it seem like she ain't gonna talk bad about you. That's okay, baby. She the type that'll, she the type that'll piss you off. She's smoking too, that's okay. 
I know, I know, it's okay. Hey, DC, she'll piss you off and be like, shut up, nigga, put this titty in your mouth. Okay, okay. Mm-mm. Been mad with her for two weeks, though. I can't, but what? You got the fuck up good. And she got a little hair on the coochie. A, a mm-hmm. lot of hair. What the fuck you talking about? Mm-hmm. Hey, you know what? I embraced my hairy coochie during the quarantine. I did. I don't never know what the fuck you gonna say next. <laughs> I, was it hairy hair or was it like no. string of hair? Man, no. every time no. I hear some shit like that, it I get hair on hair. Hair. I was sending my friends weekly updates on the hair growth. Y'all was having was... a contest? Who won the money? No, they was they was shaving. They had a long hair coochie. They had a long coochie hair contest for five hundred dollars. Um, two Who months. Who won the money? <laughs> you two months. Go up it's still hairy right now. For real? Damn. I ain't got waxed yet. Damn, that's crazy. I'm getting waxed tomorrow in L. A. Until I get home. Damn, you that's got crazy. to fly that pussy across the country just to wax it. I do. I'm personal. I'm very particular. Well, I'm so glad I don't have a pussy. Do you see yeah, no. shit you got to do? <laughs> What type of shit you gotta do to take care of a pussy? I'm particular about you who I'm waxing. Gotta fly that pussy, get it waxed. <laughs> no, I, I'm dead serious. I fly to LA every month and get waxed. I'm not even lying. That is From crazy. Thank you. Come again, wax pussy. <laughs> they got your pussy out on the wall of fame. This Miko pussy right here. You see that? Yeah, this we do all ready. type of Harry Coochies. Harry Coochie. Harry Coochie. Janet Jackson right there. We got Janet Jackson. <laughs> That's crazy. You, you, can you do this? Oh, we do Listen. everything. Let me tell you, it's personal, man. That, that Why do they always say all oh, before they no, always ask each other? Just, hey, are you guys right, better Let me oh, ask you we this. Got you. For you. What do you spend on your pussy a month then? You say you got to fly all the way from, to LA from Florida. Yes. What's the maintenance on that thing? They always um, say well, the oh. waxing, um, it's my homegirl's company is Sashay Wax in Beverly Hills. Shout, okay. out, shout out my girl. Yeah, really, um, uh, go ahead. Go. <laughs> But no, it's just about the care of your skin in general. You know, like, like I, I know that, you know, we have to, as black women, we have to embrace, you know what I'm saying, what our pussy look like. It looks different, you know what I'm saying? Don't, every pussy ain't super duper pretty, but every pussy is beautiful to me. But I, I'm about making sure the skin is right and, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm a serve pussy to my nigga, I want to serve platinum pussy to him. I don't I like want how you made bumps. pussy sound like drugs. If yeah. I'm a serve pussy, I, yeah, yeah, I don't want bumps and you know what I'm saying ingrown hairs. I don't want any discoloration. I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a beard with a nigga. You Talk know, your shit. I, I, I'm we understand sure. y'all shave a little hard and it comes. I don't shave like at that. all. I don't shave. At I mean, all. but that's why they say it's better to get waxed. Yes, yes. You know so I had to, I had to quarantine it out and I embraced <clears throat> my shit. Excuse me. I was playing with it every day. I put like a little ponytail on it one day. I'm For sorry. real. Yeah. Shit stink. No. Oh. No. And that's the thing. That's a, that's part of the reason why you you know you shouldn't keep it because it does. Hold odor. It does. You know? That's what I'm trying yeah. to tell you. If that she had a pro on, I'm like, no, hey, be but real if with you. If you ain't going nowhere, if you ain't doing nothing, you should be able to keep yourself clean. You Fella, because we definitely know when it's time. Mm-hmm. I know, and I can whip out. I'm about to pee. I'm like, yo, I got to live. Whoa. It's time for me to trim. <laughs> sure. You manscaped? It's only two. I, I trim. You trim? I, I, don't, I don't like nigga. That shit weird. You don't like it, you know, no, Mr. No. Miyagi? No. You don't like That's it like too that? goddamn freaky. That's too much. Too <laughs> naked, my nigga? I mean, you know. And then you, then you got to see the hair regrow. Like, hell no, nah, hey, hey, like, hey, with that shit. But do you like getting your salad tossed? Like, do you like what the type whoa? Of oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hell no, hell no. Music stuff. No. <laughs> yeah, you see that? That motherfucker went, went. You know what I'm saying? If you hey, the nigga was backing up the music. Hold on, she trying to eat my pussy. Uh-uh. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes no. if you, you don't. I only like the boo boo. All right, well, keep it hairy. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know, for that type of purposes, mm-hmm. it's good to keep it, you know, no. clean. I feel that's why you just need to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Not for that purpose. I'm Think like, what you going to bed for? Oh, man, my girl about to eat my ass tonight. <laughs> We're going to take a shower. <laughs> See, you know, y'all that's y'all what us niggas do. Better stop being so goddamn freaky. No, goddamn take damn showers. Foot, your foot going to be stuck. That's all the whole time her nigga take a bath. <laughs> She going to lick your ass in your foot, just going to keep doing it. Man, nothing wrong with it. going to never stop moving. Listen. Man, you take it back. You going to lick man. <laughs> Shit, that's what you said. Apply. Y'all, man. It's never wrong with a little yeah, it is. butt. You ain't even smoking my blood. Like, go to. <laughs> 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 you 
can say that. You somebody white. What, what y'all doing at the Hey, yeah, don't put that. No, but don't you know put what's that pressure yeah, on regular motherfuckers. He's going to be talking high like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> man, them 85 oh, South know, South niggas funny. be tripping, always, man. You know what's funny? Why like, you tell I them talk niggas that, that man? I, Everybody know them niggas, man. They know I'm your husband, man. <laughs> Thank you. Why you tell them niggas you lick my ass, man? You got Carlos in DC. Bring that ass. Oh my God. Delete me off your page. Stop. I'm not your husband no more. I can't stop, do bro. this. Bro, stop. I'm have to down you this fucking blood. Do that. Why would you say that on the 85 South? Them niggas are crazy. <laughs> bro, why the fuck you say this shit? <laughs> hey, no, boy, your head was gonna be mad and fucked. No, hey, let me man, say this. No, let me say this. You almost killed me. This. Fuck you. Her head was gonna be. Why did you <laughs> say that? Babe, babe, look at me. Listen, I know you love me, and they was talking about doing they stuff, but why did you say you ate my ass? <laughs> I didn't say oh. that. They know I'm your husband. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. shit. The reason that I even started talking look about Look at my Instagram. Look, they talking about you on the 85 side. So, like, them niggas don't know me. Oh. They don't know me. They like they went to your page. DC, what Rodney gonna say? Rodney gonna be up on that, boy. You let her eat your ass, boy. <laughs> boy, you know, oh boy, you heard of me. My name is Rodney, boy. <laughs> But, but you like to get your salad told, but, uh, but I'm going to win this, uh, get a six, say glad, but. Uh, babe, I, I can't go ahead, do go this. Ahead. I, before I met my husband, I never met a man that was against butt play of that You know time. why? Why? These niggas is weird. <laughs> but when I met my husband, like, when I just tried it for the first time, I thought he was gonna swing on me. He should have. <laughs> Babe, you kept talking about it like, oh no. my goodness. I didn't know. <laughs> they already know. No, I didn't know he wasn't winning. You, you know told him saying? I liked it. You told him I was, you thought I was gonna swing on you. Oh uh, shit. No. I didn't realize that it was Baby, actually niggas that ain't with that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. Because maybe that is niggas talking. is with a lot of shit these days, but he wasn't with it. And that's why I'm just like, well, why you ain't winning? He just like, I'm just not. And I was like, but what's the, you know, he feel like, you know, it's just, uh, it, it's just disrespectful to So go he said he won with you. Yeah. Uh, so you out here just, vi <laughs> you out here just violating people. No. <laughs> she didn't say I that. It was all mother rap. No, I'm saying that's what, that was, you know, that was fun until, you know. It was fun to you. <laughs> he had to, he had to consider if he was going to keep fucking with you after that. I don't know what. Man, the girl keep trying to eat my pussy. I don't know what she got going on. I didn't, I, I didn't say, no, I only tried it twice. After twice, I gave up. I was Two like, times? He like, and you had one more time? He was lifting them by <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Hey, hey, go back, hey, go back, go back. Hey, go back, go back. Oh, nigga, that booty too tight. I told you now. Get, 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 get back up here. Nigga, get the set Get that back up here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Migo, stop. I'm just, I'm just not a fan of no. Got a nigga in there man. looking at you like that. He butt ass nigga. <laughs> yes. What's wrong with you? Nigga, dick that got on soft and everything. Oh, no, oh, 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 no, oh, oh, no, oh, no. That fucked me up there. That, that. Cause, I, Cause I thought we had this conversation. <laughs> Oh, you just keep going back there. What the fuck? You, what you? What you? Nigga back here like, what you want? What you want? What you want to do? You want to lick it that bad? <laughs> That's what you into? Stop, yeah. bro. Yeah, bro, I mean, stop. I found out our freak levels is different. You know? Man, I don't. I can't be her no more. Oh. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that make you look at a motherfucker crazy. Yeah, I learned after the second when I said, okay, that's not what he, he's no. not changing his mind. I can't believe you He did ain't going to just roll with it one day. Nah, mm -mm. He, you know, mm -mm. No. I actually might lose a tooth. Let me tell you something. In this how you, but that's how you know if a nigga is, is with it or not with it. Once you grab a nigga ass, if he don't say something. 
he might be with it. Yeah. But the moment you grab a nigga, it's like it's a it's a feeling that we get where you're like, hey, bitch, that ain't meant to be played with. Like, watch out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It hit a, it hit he a nerve. Like, like so up, once a bitch yeah. touch your ass, you like, hey, 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 hold up, bitch, yeah. that ain't that ain't that yeah, ain't the one you need to play with. Yeah. I'm that nigga mm -mm. every time. Hey, what go uh, on with that weird that shit? shit feel what, funny. Hey, hey, don't play with me like that. I am not your brother. I don't what, like that. Yeah. That's why I'm when motherfuckers be like, why you don't like to be naked? Like. For like little reason like that, like just in case the bitch accidentally, like I, I had my drawers on, you know what I'm saying? Just but in case you got to jump out the window or something. I'm like, hold up, man, nigga, come on, man, what's up, man? That shit stop everything, like, man, what's up? I ain't, I ain't, hey, man, you know, I don't even want to fuck you, show. You got to put your drawers, you never know, you yeah, might yeah. have to jump out the window yeah, and play with nigga Buddha, man. Thing. Hey, man. man. Hey, shout, hey, man. Shout didn't want to play with nigga Buddha, man. <laughs> she don't want to fuck, she want to play with nigga Buddha, man. <laughs> what? Nah, she don't want to fuck. She don't want to play with a nigga booty. Man. What, if, oh, what, what happened to her shot? Man, I was trying to fuck, but she don't want to play with a nigga booty. <laughs> what advice would you give the ladies about this whole shit you talk about? With the butt play? Yeah. It what? Trying to trying to do it? No, I just. Ah! Like, ah! I'm done with it. I told you. Ah! 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 <laughs> he can't. Oh shit! He cannot. He hurt. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, y'all had me fucked up. Bro. I just came back. I understand. I just, let me just say this. I just feel like if if we, you know, it just seems so easy for men to want a threesome, to want his girl and another girl and all that, but then y'all so sensitive about y'all booty hole. Like what that? What, what the fuck? I don't see how you because, made them two because. related. That. Because. Look, this is what you just did. <laughs> what are you talking about? Y'all want us to eat pussy, but we can't eat your Ain't booty. nobody told you to eat nothing. Y'all want you to eat You ain't bargaining with a nigga. Okay, so you want to eat my pussy, but I can't eat your booty. <laughs> y'all talking about y'all want a threesome, another woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, So hold up. So your, you, your man, you have to eat your man ass in order to have a threesome? No, I'm saying there should be no. That's your bothering shit? No, I'm saying there shouldn't be any nose in the bedroom with your. With your oh, oh, woman. that's what it is? That's what it is? Okay. Uh, so. She ain't even going to tell you up front. Okay, we can have a threesome, but you got to do something for me. Anything, baby. Okay, remember you said that. <laughs> remember you said that. Anything, anything in the world, baby. That is hilarious. She in the threesome doing her part. She you eating all like kind of pussy. Um, 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 um. This what you wanted? This what you wanted me to do? Um, 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 um. <laughs> Baby, you did your thing in that motherfucking threesome. What would you need me to do? What you want to do? You want to spend some money? You want bend a car? Over. Bend over. You want a house? No. Bend over. I mean, what you mean, bend over? What? Whoa, whoa. Bend over what? <laughs> bend over what? Well, whoa. Who is bend over? That's who you want to fuck? Who is being? You ain't introduced me to the nigga. I don't know bend over. What if he had to cook out? <laughs> Talking about the tall nigga that roll with Mike. Who is being? I don't uh -huh. know motherfucking bend over. Who, who that? Oh my goodness. So you want to do the threesome with me and Ben? Well, I guess a deal is a deal. I guess a deal is a deal. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep your head at the bar. <laughs> so that ain't no you gonna three bend three. over? No, you mean, no, no, like bend me over? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Take it back. Take it back. Ask for something else. Take a credit card. Go shopping. Renick. No, you can buy a house or something else, but don't do that. Don't do that. Renick. I, I'm them kids upstairs. I'm their daddy. Not, a di not, not, not in this house. Not in this house. Hey, you got to put your foot down somewhere. No, sir. Uh -uh. What do you say? No, no not sir. me. Hell no. My last name, Miller. We don't do it like that. No. It, shit, I'm the poker. Oh you, hey, I'm the poker around here. I'm the only one playing poker. Oh, man. <laughs> What you talking about? I get it. It ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody. I, I respect know. people's boundaries. We just talking shit. Language. Hey, whatever you like, whatever you like. No, we not judging nobody. Freaky shit. What you do at your house <laughs> that you pay bills in? That's your goddamn. Business. Definitely, yeah. definitely. But what I'm saying, is we rarely have like ladies on here. They be talking that shit. So we we always be speaking for like a woman perspective. And we be trying to tell them, y'all be down with the fuck shit. Yeah. And it be niggas out here that be really on that shit that y'all be with. And y'all yeah. be exposing them niggas so yeah. clearly. <laughs> we know niggas out here getting their booty lit. Because she's the one who licking the booty. <laughs> Was licking the booty. Stop. Well, don't stop. If that's what you like, do your motherfucker. <laughs> he talking about don't no, stop. Hell no, stop. I didn't give up on that. That ain't, uh-uh. Yeah. I'm not. Hey, I'm not all right, all right. So I'm going to reverse it. I eat ass. Bet. You should. 
I understand. But I'm just not getting my ass lit. Respect. You have a right, right to say I'm a pass on that. Right, I understand. But 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 as a on the opposing side, when I say I eat that, <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just thinking, because I know a lot of fellas in the room probably eat ass, but it's like They lie about it. When you eat ass, are you an ass eater? Like do you Somebody in here get their ass ate, bro. Best believe it. <laughs> The one who ain't been laughing it's like that. Look at these two light skinned niggas, bro. They, you know they do. You know they do. Nigga been chuckling. <laughs> what you chuckling for, Nick? You know the nigga thought as soon as he heard that happened from me. Go cute motherfucker. <laughs> Boy, great. Nigga tooting his pussy up. <laughs> Don't call your pussy. That's what, that's what it is if you done ate it. Oh, shit. That's what it turned to, It's a pussy now. Ah! Oh my God! What did I turn it to? You niggas better keep them women at your bird nest. <laughs> There's a baby bird no, in don't. there. No, you pleasure, don't. Pleasure, <laughs> do your, yourself. like I said, do your motherfucking thing. Hey man, do your thing. Do your thing. Whatever. Do your thing, though. That shit feel good. Whatever Trust floats me, your boat. Done. Whatever tickles your prickle. When you do it, it feel good well, to whoever it. you doing it to, right? Fucking it right. feel good to you too if you somebody else did it to you. It would. It ain't even special if you if you out here just eating somebody's ass who has been ate before. It's not a gift. Right. She used to it at this point. She ain't even trembling. It's been like, oh, well, give me four more minutes. No, bitch, I'm be finishing. But by the time you get to enjoying this, you gotta you don't find really a, eat ass like you that. You gotta like, find a new nah, ass. You, you don't eat no ass now. Nah, you just, you just, you just let know you see it. You see what I'm saying? Like you don't, hey. you don't, you don't literally. Hey, you got, hey. you got to let them know. You got to be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like the ad might be right there. You got to be like, hey, 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 Palmer, hey. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey Palmer, you dig what I'm saying? Stop doing black. Like, what's, what's happening? <laughs> no, nah, you don't just be able to like, hey, what's happening? Let me talk to you for a minute. You got to hold up. You're whoa. back there too long. For real, you got a little something right here. You did. <laughs> they say they clean, but hey, <laughs> are you clean? Think about it. Right, nigga be lying. You lied, she lied. Everybody lied. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God, what the hell is this? You want a Capri Sun? Nah. That's how we get down over there. They hit it. Oh, oh. No, matter of fact, let's call it some not. I don't really eat that type of Y'all want to hear some good news, though? Because yeah. we've been talking about a lot of shit. What's it? Man, motherfucking Joe Rogan podcast just got a $100 million deal. Shit, salute, nigga. Shit. Hell yeah. Anybody that gives some money, thank you. We trying shit, to get some. You ain't on me. We got to start talking about <laughs> aliens and shit on here, D.C. For real. Cause they out here, they, nigga. Hey, man, that's how they got to the money. This man. motherfucker I be talking nigga, science. I seen a nigga who's in the black movie. Black holes and shit. We can I get back to the comedy. We got the comedy shit on lock. We got to start talking about dinosaur bones and bullshit like that. If we ever going to get to this $100 million. Nigga, I'm telling you, I seen a <clears> nigga from Men in Black movie. What happened? I seen a nigga from the Men in Black movie. The Roach? Mm-mm, the nigga who did his little head when he grew, it, when he grew that shit back. He was like, you ain't have to do that. Oh, that nigga, yeah. I seen him in real life. Where you see him at? At the, at the grocery store. Bro, you be on some amazing shit. You find somebody by the van yet? Man. Tell the truth. Nigga BJ really be hitting me up just to talk to me, bro. That's that bullshit. You got to find your buyer. Up up. It ain't even me. That's my manager. Ah, ah, fuck. Nigga keep thinking you texting me. You ain't texting me. You texting my manager. They like, yo, DC, you ain't going to never sell that van. Ugly, man. <laughs> And I go to their profile, and they be like, profile just made minutes ago. I'm like, these fuck nigga, man. Yeah. I'm going to change the color of the van, man. Bruh, it's I got it's you. Somebody, somebody, somebody hit me and said they uncle really trying to buy it. I'm going to give it away to somebody, man. You said what that. What kind of van is it? I'm going to give it away to somebody who's Astro. buying it. Oh, ah, you ah, did ah, have ah. Astro van. Why you selling it? Because that shit got to get out of my yard. You don't you own your company <laughs> no more? I mean, I really can turn it into an eye cream truck. Why not? <laughs> Do something with it. Hey, I gotta say I this for the streets. I got better goals in life than turning the truck to an ice truck. I gotta say this for the streets, man. The streets really gonna be excited about this. Why you playing? I so need to. So a chef can do a food truck. No, man. But you gonna have to rip that shit out and make a put the whole store. stove over that bitch. <laughs> make it a sandwich truck. I would make it. Just have a motherfucker in there making food hustle sandwiches, is a bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell ice cream, nigga. Come on, bro. What? He kid need that 50 cent ice cream. Speaking of ice cream, nigga, Max B is dropping one last project before he get out of prison in 2021. Huh? Max B. Oh, talking about uh, New York? Yeah. Charlie Wingate. Modif. 
the wavy one. Drop that bit. He gonna do it. Bit. Hey, can we turn no light down? Let me just blind. Let me just blind the fuck out of me. Unless I'm just high fuck. I, I, <laughs> I don't think we there yet. I don't. I think these lights just either on or off. For real. Yeah. 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 Lit. Mm-hmm. Horace Grant said he wasn't a snitch. Some, he somebody did snitch, though. He wasn't though, the only snitch. What you mean? He was snitch on what? Snitch. On all the shit? He was definitely on a the, snitch. He just wasn't the only snitch. Told the nigga about the, all the shit he put in the book. But then somebody had to snitch because it was, was a recording. That was too much information. A recording has come out of Michael like, no, Jordan said he man. didn't want to play on the when dream team. When you can't team, talk to a Isaiah motherfucker, Thomas. a motherfucker be telling me. I'm like, I can't stand that and shit. Did you believe Jordan when he said that he didn't say that? In the I interview? don't believe shit. Everybody Michael getting their feeling, man. They say what they say, but. Oh, Killer Mike the, Intentionally. That no, ain't really mean was, that shit. He was at uh, Spawn Davis when I was there. Word. He was in here last last episode. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just saw him at Spawn Davis when yeah. I was getting my anger out and I was telling y'all. Getting that goddamn. Damn meat. I was sauteing them crab legs. My friends cra laugh at the fact that it's crab legs. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a nice little spot to go get some, uh, some crab legs. <clears throat> it's a place called Cat Cake. It's a little seafood right there next to CC. What I mean, Jackson little going? What's up, Shop? Jess. Jess. It's great. And it's a little season. That shit be busting. Okay. Jackson woke up like, man, who the fuck the playing that saxophone? Bro. He got a back. That's to uh, Florida. You gotta take Great. your dog out. Huh. Sit, sit, come on. Sit, 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 sit. It's okay. Sit, nigga. Sit. I'm learning. I'm learning. I gotta get down that wood. Maybe you want you to get down that wood. Sit, 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 nigga. You embarrassing me. There we go. My nigga. You gotta Good have boy. A tree in your hand when you do that. Sometimes they had a white folk do it. That's how they do it. <laughs> yeah. He don't be liking them shit. Look at him. He's like, hey. Yeah. Where's my, right. my tree at? <laughs> and this segment is called Black Men with Animals. <laughs> Hosted by DC Young Fly. DC, is there any puppy advice you would like to give to the people? Out man, you gotta have patience, man. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna train these motherfuckers. Cause I gotta have patience. I always tried to train my dog when I was young. Yes. Had no patience. Yes. That motherfucker don't listen. Fuck em. For the white people who Fly, are watching I just get this. mad at him. That bitch don't listen. Come here. Come here. For the man, white people watching this, this room <laughs> is well ventilated, and we do have a dog bowl that is full of water that is off camera. This nigga here is on. <laughs> oh yeah, for all the so little animals. Call the people on you. Yeah. Motherfucker definitely gonna teach me patience though. In that right game vibe. Somebody said Killer Mike is an important part of the culture. His leadership and perspective means so much to our community. We have to protect him. I think he's gonna protect himself. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what he was talking we about. Need, we need like them, them street activists like him, man. Out there really talking that shit and doing that shit at the same time. We need some leaders. That's what we really need because yeah. we everybody we got too many people talking too, like just too many different people. And and when our people were united, we had a we had a, a, a group. We knew who to go to. Right. And we don't have that now. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. we need a group to come together and create what the okay. Black Panthers do. Who would be some good black leaders right now? Nick Cannon. Really? Well, yes, but we t the, the, our culture is too busy calling him square or corny or, you know what I'm saying? I really like that like, because think, we, we, more so, we more so like to embrace and, you know what I'm saying, and <clears throat> uplift like the gangsters, you know yes. what I'm saying? So if a nigga ain't walking around like gangster, like to be honest, bro, I look at him as a, as a mogul and yes. he inspired me like yes with all my business endeavors you dig what i'm saying even with going back to school you feel what yes. i'm saying like all I'm that he serious. would be a great leader you for us to saying? have because not only you know he's financial you need money you know what i'm saying in order to do anything here we're gonna need to buy some politicians at right. some point that's gonna have to come into play and you're gonna have to reach the masses and nick does that you know what i'm saying he reaches the masses He's educated. He's not right. just smart. And you He's know educated. what else? White people trust him too. Yes. I yes, seen sir. this white lady walk up to Nick, hand him a baby, and walk the fuck off. When uh -huh. we was on tour, she just handed him the baby and walked the fuck off. I was like, I ain't never in my life seen white people do that shit. Yeah. That's crazy. I just feel like we need new leaders. We need people that. Who else? Um. We fuck with Nick the long way. Nah, yeah, most yeah. definitely. Well, I'd give you a check on that one. Nick and Colin Kaepernick, they just automatic. Most definitely. Who else? It, Can't just it, be traditional boy, niggas too. We gotta throw this one. Person right here. You'll do it? Absolutely. Good you be going boy. off on people. You though. have to. Sometimes you gotta say shit real. You can't just be soft and pussy for I fuck with but you because you, you down you to go to jail you, about your shit though. But you know what? But you know what? <laughs> but you know what we need though? We really need to get into the judicial system. 
That's how you, that's what I'm that's, saying. We, we lacking over there. We can't make any power moves if we don't have anybody in our corner up there. At all. That's what a money nobody, in. Nobody in our, in our corner in our favor because we still, if you go to like certain towns, they got certain sheriffs and certain yeah. city court officials and certain judges and shit like, nigga, that you, costs money. nigga, that's that town. Yeah. That nigga, costs, boy, you not I really, I wish we fuck with property. politicians they the way we fuck with do with everything else. Yes. Wouldn't that be hard? How we fuck with Gucci. Like, how we fuck with the same Gucci way time. we fuck with Gucci. I thought you, know you meant what? Gucci well, Mane. Bo, uh, no. uh, uh, me too. You no. know who the white, like, Nancy Pelosi. The designers that we spending all that money on. We should be pulling that money together and spending that on politicians and like, shit right. moving for us. For I real. thought you meant Gucci Mane. And I was like, Nancy Pelosi and Gucci Mane got a lot in common. They got a lot of the same mannerisms. They get angry quick. They like to cut people off and shit. <laughs> Nancy Gucci, Pelosi Gucci be snapping. Too. Oh, Gucci brought, they brought the old Gucci back. Yeah. That's she said she putting us out. It opened at eight o'clock. Why we, why we got to go for? Cause we black? You see how these white folks treat us? Hey, y'all sit down. Let these hey, folks hey, do this shit, man. Hey, 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 don't nobody speak up or nothing, man. This, this man, she, she just like I don't make the rules. She don't make the rules, man. Yeah, fuck that crap, bitch. Hey, That's how hey, fucked up porn chain is right yeah. now. Yeah. Give my boy out Y'all done made goddamn character. Gucci snap on somebody, yeah. bro. He trying to go crazy. That nigga been smiling for See? four years straight. Yes, See? he been smiling, happy as, as ever. And then they got him out of character. Mm, mm, Good boy. Yep. I gotta That's ask so y'all this black people. Have white women always been this fucking annoying? Who? Or is it like white women? Yeah, um, uh, they cool, I but they think are. that it's more, now they, they're more comfortable being, and a lot of them was too afraid to do the shit they doing now. Now you know they what I'm saying? They doing that shit because they feel like, all right, we, we really have a privilege. Yes. That's why like, when you see them motherfuckers be on the phone, be like, I'm white and you ain't never seen nobody get on the phone like, I'm an African American, pull up, someone's right here, I'm an African American. Like, yeah. like that Like, we're not so calling much. them folks like, pull up, nigga, I'm an African American and I need for you to pull up now. Like, yeah. hey, you're man. saying this on the phone like, I'm white and so you know they trying to come for your rescue, my nigga. Yeah. That, that shit would be fun. I, I wish I had a sketch show sometime because that would be funny. Mm -hmm. You know how they show like them, them like, Police show where people mm. call in. It'd be the white lady yeah. call nine one one. What's your mercy? Yes, yes. there's what was a black man walking around my neck, man. What if it was a black show like that? It'd be some snitch head. Hello. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's a white man in a work truck down the street. <laughs> he been parked down there since uh two o'clock. It's just just look out of out of place in the neighborhood. It's a lot of drugs and hoes and <laughs> pimps and shit over here. It's just and that four picture this white man truck. making me nervous. Could y'all send a unit over here? <laughs> I mean, it's a unit over here, but could you tell them to walk over there by where oh, that white man black, is? Oh, you black, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm black. Hello. Oh, oh we'll be right over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, come on. What? Man, come on with the jokes, man. That's fucking crazy. And you know what the fucked up part about that shit, isn't it? The bird watcher dude. There is an African American man. I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. If you have been on social media today, you have likely seen this. A Central Park confrontation went viral, netting more than 25 million views. In it, a white woman appears to call police, accusing a black man of threatening her after he asked her to put her dog on a leash. What? The only part that got that lady in trouble was when she that grabbed dog. that goddamn dog, bro. The dog. Man, that dog damn near died. Oh, no, that man, dog was so And the dog really would tell her, man, leave that nigga alone. <laughs> 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 The dog turned him over. It was, was the, the leash was tore. She had him by the choker, what like this, and kept twirling around. It was just getting tighter and tighter. I'm like, yeah. She at said, one point, the, the dog looked at the lady. It was like, bitch, he right. Put the leash on. That's right. what he kept. Yeah. What he kept doing. He was trying to do his neck. Oh, oh man. See, the dog know he supposed to have the shit on. Crazy. Come here. Ooh, I got a dude, man. That's what's up, man. Y'all Y'all have been some dope old. ass people in here tonight. Yeah. I hope you know that. I gotta keep it coat clean, man. Yeah, man. Go ahead and crack an egg. You gotta make sure you keep us <laughs> updated on your progress <laughs> no, his with this dog, DC. <laughs> uh, you gotta keep us updated on this dog. Oh yeah. I'm we gonna go get watch his progress. And rub it through his skin, make sure I keep that coat. Nice and shiny. Yeah, all feet. Look at that. I'm talking about here, baby. Wait till that boy get big. Yeah. That's what we're doing during this quarantine. We are taking care of the community. Revolutionary shit. DC, anything you want to leave these people with tonight? Shit, man. Stay prayed up, man. 
Don't let this shit get to you, big dog. You right. dig what I'm saying? Right. Hey. Think about what brother Oris Mays would do. I'm telling you. <laughs> what would he do? He would tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to be ready to get ready in order to be ready. Mm -hmm. Cause when you already ready, you ain't got to get ready. Mm -hmm. You know why? Why? Because you already ready. <laughs> Cause you was ready to begin with. That means you was ready from the start. That means you started getting ready. Uh huh. Uh huh. I now to see to be standing in the presence of them is to be walking in the greatness. Now see, you can't put your other foot by your other foot until you stand up straight and look yourself in the face. See, the first person who got to believe your lie is you. Uh huh. Now see. All it takes is for two people to believe a lie. Guess what that make it? What? The, the truth. truth. Uh huh. Mm hmm. You did. You believe what you want to, but you should start believing in yourself, like you believe everything else. Uh, I don't know where your little friend going. <laughs> I don't know where he's headed. Did you want something? Hell yeah. That's what exactly what Orange on. Mays was telling Miko. Yeah, what I already you want did. Yeah. Damn it. Um, Where can they find you? Nigga, quick. Somebody gonna want to follow you. I'm on Instagram. I, I got kicked off Twitter about uh, four years ago. For what? For threatening a, a media person. Why? I told him I was gonna spit on him when I see him, and that, that's like. You a, so you should have just did it. I well, I wasn't even gonna do it. I just said it because he was saying <laughs> shit to me, and so they he cried to Twitter police and everything. So they kicked me off. Twitter. No, see, we can't leave without talking about some of this shit because you. <laughs> A lot of these things that you've been accused of, you don't really get to speak on. I don't. I, you know? I'm, How do you find yourself in such hot water? Be, just, being a black woman and being, you know, having an opinion. And, and, you know, I'm in the industry that, you know, men dominate, which is, you know, most industries. But the sports industry is the main one that is so egotistical that so just tired. being a woman and having a, an opinion and being right. And t and proving other niggas wrong, like they hate you for that shit. You know? They supposed so, to. Yeah, and so <laughs> I've been talking my shit, doing what I need to do for my for my family, Fuck. so we can come up. You know, shit. I managed my husband. Right. So they didn't like how I managed my husband, how I handled billionaires. Oh shit. And so. Yeah, you can't you can't be calling billionaires <laughs> crackers and shit. Yes, I, I can. Mean. These niggas call us all type of shit behind our back. Whoa. Shit. So they they try to you know treat treat you like they don't need you. And I had to let them know, this is what the price is if you're trying to sign my nigga. Like, it's, you can't be out here being, talk. you can't be out here being disrespectful, trying to bully him into no contract. No, we ain't- I appreciate ain't you for being strong. For some reason, standing. I feel Look, like you, up, you said those exact words for yeah. some reason. I appreciate yeah. you for being strong and standing the fuck up, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm Cause sometimes always... niggas be needing that, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that strong woman yeah, on our side. your queen is your best piece. You do. Talk that <laughs> shit. Yo, Cause somebody need chess, to hear it. Yes, I sure do. Somebody need to hear it. Yeah. Keep going. Fucker play chess. So, See, just... I knew the spirit was in here as soon as I brought up brother Oris Mays. She played chess. I was gonna wrap yeah. it up, but then you got the moving in the spirit and you started telling me about the greatness. Yeah. Of the we get our script from y'all. That's what we yeah. trying to tell so them. So I just, you know, I, I just decided to, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go at these niggas. I'm gonna do what I feel like they do to us, you right. know? And so I just challenged a couple things, asked, I just, you know, kept asking for more things and, and, you know, whenever shit wasn't going right for them, they, you know, in the NFL, what people have to understand is they control the media. The players don't have a voice like the NBA. Them niggas can say whatever they want in the NBA. Y'all see it. They out here saying I can't breathe and Black Lives Matter. You ain't finna see no NFL niggas saying that. They, they, they get rid of them. You know, and so what, what happens is even in negotiations, if something is not right, and they'll put out some bad press about these niggas, it ain't even true, but they can't even say nothing for the fear of getting cut or, you know, losing their job. See, they're you know? trying to interrupt this broadcast. Look how they doing mm -hmm. this. Dirty motherfuckers. That's the white man doing that. Mm. You know? No, that's probably just a jig of the cord, my nigga. The cord came But out. yeah, so I was one of those wives <laughs> that put that out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting you know what they trying to do to my man and I'm not having it. Talk right. that shit. You know, and so when I put it out there and I, then, then they try to say, oh, no team is going to sign her husband because she did this. They didn't even know I was already negotiating his next deal for sixteen and a half million dollars. Stop playing. While they putting in the media that nobody won't even talk to him, I didn't already negotiate it down to two people, to two teams. But they want to make the fans think Oh, since she spoke up like that, 
his career is over. But so other people can be scared. Yeah, scared to do it. But what they don't know is that's a goddamn lie. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and so you guess sometimes you gotta bet on yourself. Sometimes you gotta know, like, no, nah, you're not finna bully me. That's why I like this. Look at this. You gotta bet on yourself. You gotta stand up to these bullies sometimes, demand what you what you worth. Mm -hmm. And in the NFL, they don't do that. They are so scared. That's why they don't have guaranteed contracts right. like the NBA. That's right. why they, they should have just fucked up because they don't stand up for themselves. Mm. You know? And every time somebody do, it's always a penalty or something. And you, you can you see, see what happened at Kaepernick. Yeah, you Stood know what I'm saying? Up, they try to black by the shit out of him. Yeah, and so it's just, they scared. You know what I'm saying? So, so when I came in, it was like, Holy shit, we gotta bury her and call her the worst thing in the world. She's this, she's that. Just try to bury me. But what they was really trying to bury is that's a strong black woman standing up and riding for her family and doing what she gotta do right. and keeping it real. You know, I had a whole radio show. They they arrested me so I could get fired from my radio show. I was Just doing so make radio. It look like. Yes. I was doing radio for five years. I had a radio show here in Atlanta with Dennis Scott, 3D After Dark. And then my husband got signed by the Dolphins, went out there, got another radio job. But they didn't like Atlanta. They weren't tripping. The Falcons wasn't tripping. They was letting me, you know what I'm saying, say whatever I want to say. But in Miami, they was like, yo, she can't be telling the truth right. on the radio. You know, they fans was more invested out there than the fans here. You know, right. they listen to everything you say. And so when you start speaking that real shit, they shut you down. They want, they want to make you look bad. No, no. Tell me, tell me about it. It's a system. Oh Lord, tell me about it. <laughs> All I do is get on here and tell the truth, and they mad at me. <laughs> they say I be hating on the gay community and everything. Oh Lord. And you know what? That is a goddamn lie. Cause I don't give a shit who you have sex with. Get it? I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, you know, I feel sorry for y'all as comedians because yeah. I'm saying y'all art is to make people laugh and to be right. funny. Everything is funny. Everything, everything, everything is, funny. is funny. We got to laugh at made. our pain. Everybody yeah, laugh you know at what I'm saying? Right. Everything is funny. Ah! So you can't just silence for one group of people just because they feel in certain. I mean, you got to silence this joke and silence that joke and silence that joke. You know or what I'm just, saying? Yeah, just don't do jokes, period. Yeah. That's exactly what they want to get to. People want, you know, whatever. Yeah. I thought the whole point of the shit was to make fun. We are, we make fun of shit. Yeah. We that's take we shit do. that's not normally fun and make fun of it. That's You've it. been depressed about being fat? Watch us make you laugh for five minutes so you can forget about all this fucked up shit that you've been having to deal with. Come right. on, like, yeah. what? this used to be the escape. Yeah. Now well, this is. shit is the scapegoat. Nope. Yeah. It's, it's not really that, it just, they desensitize shit and we entertain the whiners. Yep. We make them matter. We we give them power. <laughs> yes. When we acknowledge the why are you saying that? If, if, if we say shut your bitch ass up. That's what right. I do. <laughs> Cause you remember nigga used to be scared to talk at one point of time if you wasn't <laughs> A certain type of person. Right. Right, right, you feel what I'm saying? Right, Even right. walking in school and shit. Hey man, you, hey. You don't want all that attention, like, right. what you got to say? You see what yeah. I'm saying? It was a certain yeah. type of aura. See, now we in this social media type where yeah. these motherfuckers yeah. say whatever. And you like, who the fuck yeah. are you talking to? Yep. So it's like, the morals of talking now, right. the whiners are, 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 are just whining. They got their own little game. They just whining. Yeah. That's all. They just whining. I call it fake outrage. They're just whining. Yeah. They don't really care. Mm -mm. They just mad, and if they could kill your career because they're miserable with their own life, then they would love to do that. If a they comment, could stop ha you a from comment has a no voice, but we made comments a voice. Yeah. Yep. So when they make a comment, they feel like, oh, we got a thousand likes. Ooh, that means a thousand people see my comment. Weirdos. Mm -hmm. Weirdos. Don't I just, give a fuck. Bro, I said like, this <laughs> joke. I'll punch you in your ass. Some, <laughs> some bullshit. You know how you just do a bullshit joke? You're like, hey, what do you call right. a lady with no ears? What you say? like, what? I'm like, you don't. You text her. Right. And then this smile was like, hey, man, that joke you do about the people with no ears just fucked up. I was like, they ain't never going to hear it. Like, how you going to be mad? <laughs> <laughs> he was still mad about this shit? Mad like, for no reason. <laughs> you going to sign it to him? <laughs>
with how they yeah. go here better. You gonna write it down? I don't hey. know. I'll be giving a fuck. I swear on everything. I swear on everything. I do not give a fuck. That's why when some people come to my show, they just hope they don't have to go pee. Cause then that's what y'all use. Cause I don't want to see you. Like I don't yes. want to acknowledge you. That's the you. best part like, of the show. That's the funniest shit ever. Like if that's I was, if I'm on stage, and I remember a nigga walk right, a nigga he was he was crippled. He walked and a nigga got over. They were like, ooh. And I'm like, what the fuck y'all? What? They like, Duh, you gonna see? I get the nigga went to the bathroom. I'm like, alright. So now I'm anticipating on a nigga to come back. Man, the nigga came back. Shout out to the nigga had a look. A little walk to her, so you know what I'm saying. So it's like I I see the walk, and they like, what you gonna say about the walk? You feel me? And I'm like, I ain't gonna embarrass them, but, but you got to. <laughs> no, nah, not really. I'm gonna make fun of like, all right, nigga, if you get up again, okay, then you I'm gonna smash that. your ass. But I'm gonna smash so on, on the one you let him have it. <laughs> Hope that better be the last time you better pee, nigga. Oh Cause your ass get up God. and walk again, I'ma tell your ass up. That's the best part of the show to me. And he was an alcoholic. Really? Yes. He made I me feel bad, but this nigga get drunk. How y'all find the most weirdest, this the most thing rare? About, how do y'all this is what find people them? don't understand about that the comedy show. I love comedy. They that that don't get this, especially in the comedy club. You think because you're in the back, you safe. Oh, no. Yeah, how do, you can, like, how do y'all be finding this? Niggas in the back is the most easiest niggas. Well, I'm not even going to tell y'all. This <laughs> niggas in the back better not say shit. That's the funny thing about the comedy show, though. Anybody can get it. Anybody in the room. Like, you can be normal as a motherfucker. The, but the people in the make, kitchen, they get anybody. it. Anybody. We don't even see them. They get it. They bringing out the food slow. But what? You never know who ass. might catch it. <laughs> yeah. What? My security got it one day. He was so ready to be my security. He's he, he out here. He's so on stage. I'm like, man, get your strong ass ready to do the job ass move. He just being strong for no reason. He about four or five jokes in. I done tow his ass up. So you never That's know. It's fun. I, I, ain't, I ain't seen seen a lot of show. Every time I look at the schedule, I, I can't ever do it. And then I got a son, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta be a mother. And all that shit, yeah. You gotta be a healing mother. I've been wanting to catch it. But, but you know, at our show, you bring shit. your kids I to I heard y'all got a show in Rhode Island. Is that, come, is that real? I don't know when I we hope got so, another man. show. If they open back up, shit. we come. Miami Improv is back open. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck we got going on. What y'all doing, man? We, we doing YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm, I can't wait to get back Welcome. and talk some more shit. I got some more shit to talk. <laughs> yeah, YouTube I'm video. Definitely gonna pull, I need to be live. I need to experience it. Cause I, when I, it's not the same. I know Listen, it's not the same. Ain't nothing like riding on, on somebody's scooter. Y'all, y'all like, be doing the most. That the little shit. I just be like, bro, man, work doing what the fuck I want to do. Listen to this shit. This motherfucker is, oh, I'm on somebody's scooter, scooter. bro. Right. And she's having the time of her life. Yeah. The best thing about it That's, is you know what I'm it's another girl with another scooter. That can't wait to do get, that. Who's going to try to one-up that scooter Ooh, ride. It's going to I hope her shit on supercharged. She I just got, got a SRT new scooter. On your she shit. hop up on a wheelie on I want that bitch to be Hit that bitch in zoom. I want that bitch to, You know them folks be having on training wheels, so when they go back, the bitch <laughs> catch that yeah. <laughs> They ain't bounce you back. Yeah, they do. It catch me like. It's like a bounce back. It That's gets, not yeah. training wheels. <laughs> he called them training wheels. No, like cause they'll they turn around and hit that bitty so back. So you don't fall. <laughs> yeah, it comes here. It's a wheelie bar. So you can hit the wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> so you do tricks in that bitch. <laughs> For real, oh, bro. Those niggas be turning around in that motherfucker hey. like they dead. Like, hold up, watch that now. Eh, eh, hold up. Did, uh, come on. <laughs> You be playing, bro. <laughs> he don't yeah. give a shit what he say. But anyways. And he know everybody watching <laughs> this goddamn show. Hey, man, I don't give a fuck. I, I know, but right? But look, I can be found on Instagram. I'm, I'm heavy on Instagram. Talk your shit. Shout your shit out. At Miko. That's the Instagram. I do a little bit of Snapchat, and I got a YouTube channel at iHeartMiko. What you talking podcast. about on YouTube? Um, it's mostly um, any interviews that I do, but also my podcast is on there. I have video. It's also on audio on SoundCloud, Spotify, uh, iTunes, Google Play. So it's mostly sports, but a little bit Man. of bullshit. Talk your shit. Well. Yeah. when women know about sports, that shit is beautiful. Hell yeah. yeah. So you, she you know, athlete, I know about sports, but I need for you to at least know the fundamentals. Yeah, I snatched a ball and now. Uh, you didn't snatch a ball? He snatched me. Oh. I was, I was, you the prize. Yes. You yes. just flexed on us on the low. I that was she just did. I definitely did. you catch that? That was she just did. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Snatched her. You dig what I'm saying? Word. Yeah, he won. 
That's what's up. <laughs> talk your shit. You got to. Especially <laughs> in the quarantine. This might be the last time you really get to talk a lot of shit like this for yeah. you. Quarantine, I'm so ready for this shit to be over with. You really get to know people during this the This shit really been therapy for me. If it wasn't <laughs> for this really show, I probably would have went all the way oh, crazy. Because huh? the world falling apart. Every day we wake up, it's some new bullshit. Yeah. Did you see that TikTok where they were showing you all the bugs that's in the strawberries? I don't know if this shit was a prank or what, the but I ain't, look, I ain't wow. looked at strawberries the wow. same strawberries. for two weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some beautiful, big, robust, juicy strawberries. And all I do is like rinse them off, right? But everybody on TikTok be washing them with salt. So let's see if there's any creepy crawlies in this bitch. I don't have salt with the chick with the umbrella, so sorry, I'm seeing some Himalayan salt. I told you they're fat. Oh, they look so good. Wait, I love the water already looking a little bit musty, but I'll wait a little bit and then I'll come back. Shut the fuck up, I see a bug already. I know y'all see that. That's another one. That shit's hikey gross. This shit got Man. me fucked up. Yeah, it had me a little buzzed out. I ain't see that shit. Everything got that me shit. fucked up. Everything got bugs in it these days. We don't take care I'm of I'm telling you, if you ain't growing your own shit, bro, I'm telling you, bro. I got a garden and I see bugs on our shit. Shout out to Uber Eats. Yeah, 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 shout out <laughs> you know, your shit out the bag, out the window like this. Nigga, come get your shit. <laughs> no, leave my shit outside. I'm coming get it. <laughs> Uber mm -hmm. eat that shit was raining. Nigga called me. He was like, come get your shit. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> nigga come to the door. He like, nigga, you come. You did I brought your food here. I'm like, you don't never nigga, I ain't gonna Bro, what you say you been reading? Yeah, what you been reading, bro? I just been reading like little spiritual books and you know what I'm saying? Them Mental self -help. motivational books. Hey, yeah. Getting your life together. That I'm still practicing on my concentration though, because I'll be reading it and be like, fuck these books, man. The hardest part about reading them self help books is they tell you all the shit you already know. You just right. don't be fucking doing it. <laughs> right. Just don't do it. Like you done read this whole book. Like, when they gonna tell me some shit I don't know? Um, Ted, I be wanna read some shit that I wanna I wanna be like every page, like, damn, I wanna keep reading this book. Like, I don't I still be looking at how, like how many pages in the chapter and shit. I be like, all right, I got like ten pages. I can get through hey. this chapter. Okay, I feel like somebody, you know. A lot of people don't know. <laughs> reading them self-help books let you know, let you know exactly how fucked up you are. You be reading them like when you start agreeing with bullshit, like simple ass shit. That's how you know you've been really off your Stop, shit. Nigga. Like you turn to that bitch, and make your bed up. Okay, yeah. Now they talking about something right here. <laughs> make your bed up, shit. That's it, true in the motherfucker. I'm telling you. You yeah, make yeah, your bed. Yeah, yeah. You start your day off exactly. clean. Exactly. You feel me? You feel me? The rest of it be clean. Eat breakfast. You feel me? I ain't been fucking with the breakfast shit. You know what I'm saying? You the kid, lunch. I've been reading though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've been reading. I've been reading and then making sure I'm noting the books. So even when I go back and reread them, yeah. I don't just reread. I already done know the shit, so I'm just really and going you back. Know what else is the shit. important is when you finish a book and you write notes and stuff like that, leave right. closest. You should always give a book to somebody else. Man, hell no. No, no I ain't in that stage of giving my book away. No, I mean once you're done with it, you should pass it along. Yeah, but I, I still need that book because I put notes in and in words and I, hey, bro, I need that book. Well, maybe they could borrow it. No, I can tell you to get this book. <laughs> I can, bruh, because when I make notes, it's like Einstein. Like, once you start reading this shit, it's like, all right, I'm going to have like a library of this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like all the books that I done read, and I can go back and reference some shit off of just, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I can just go pick this book up, I already made notes and, and words and shit that I just want to read, you know what I'm saying? Reference it, go back and relearn, like, mm. I knew I had that. Okay. You see what I'm I saying? It's a you. note. I feel you. It's a notepad. I'm just looking at more of the blessing. Let's say. I, I can I can damn sure deliver the message and then tell a nigga, boy, go get this book. You feel me? I'm not going to keep the knowledge away from a nigga. But I still. Your notes could be important to somebody else reading. That's what I'm saying. I, that's yeah. why I'm, I'm going to give it to him. But I ain't going to give you the actual. Okay. Man, that nigga just be talking. That nigga give away he every give away goddamn every thing. Hell no, nah, ain't nobody ever gave me no soon book. Soon as a fan come up, they'll tell, tell me to give a book. Soon as a you fan sure come up and ask him, he gonna be like, hell no, nah, I ain't give you shit. But, 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 but then what I'm saying, they gonna come but back and get I'm that saying, shit I'm away. not gonna be able to do that because I'm not done with it. 
Yeah, I said once you done. Yeah. Right. I can't. I'm still making notes. I ain't. Okay. I don't quite know this motherfucking book just yet. Hey, hey, you gonna blow your ass up. Hey, Stop. man. Come here. Talk Stop to little me. Stop, little Scooby Doo. There you go. Yeah. Good dog. Boy, what is this? Why oh, talk your shit? Ah, 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 talk your <laughs> shit. Ah. Hey, okay. man, we gotta wrap this shit up. Miko, we appreciate you stopping through the trap house and shit. Thank you. Marvin Gaye, proud see? of you. Look at you. Good boy. Marvin, good boy. Proud of me. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Thanks y'all. Thank y'all for having me, man. This was fun. Oh, this was fun to be on this couch after watching it. Hey man. Hey man. Keep I being know y'all hate man. being on this couch, but hell, we fuck with this we couch. We love the trap. You I'm see, we get the small to shit. get on tour and get out. Mama gang. Yeah, we definitely. Shout out, yeah. Shout out, Mama gang. Y'all know Mama gang? Uh uh. This is a uh, Britney's clothing line. Who this? Who's Britney? Nick Cannon, Baby Mama, Golden. Oh for real? That's why it's golden. Uh, she got, yeah, but yeah, oh. this is her clothing line. We don't know. We didn't I, get in. We don't. We don't hang with Nick like that. Like that. No, no, no. You don't got to hang gonna be with like, Nick. Hey, like, hey, no, he don't promote it. No, he don't promote it or nothing. Like, this her own shit. Right, this, but if he see it on here, then we're like, we don't, like we don't know. We no, didn't know. this is me. Right. This they, is me. They set us up. We didn't. We ain't know Nick. This. Right. This is me. Don't think we tried to back though. You ain't promote you. Right, nah, nah. Me and me and Bri now I, we're going to have to blur this out, though. No, no, fuck no. <laughs> I knew her before she was his baby mama. Oh man. Yeah, we was friends Shit. before that, so yeah. Well, you so see that's, how that's your baby mama gonna find a way. It don't. I've been trying. Oh whatever. my well, god, she's been my friend before Nick. We have been cool. We been cool. It's just a small world. Yeah, she's just she just having to have a baby Shit. with the, with a nigga my sister worked with. Ain't so. that shit crazy? Yeah. Cause we work with the nigga that worked with the, that's My crazy. Sister, the yeah. other half, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. The two degrees of separation yeah. have been separated by one. All right, man, this is the 85 South Show. Make sure you stay tuned in, mm -hmm. stay wrapped up, don't trust nothing, sanitize your hands, wash your ass so somebody can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. <laughs>
Somebody said they was feeling me and Chico blues comedy freestyle uh, cypher. Keep that part of the segment. That ain't never been done before. These boys are really putting paint wet. Hey! Uh, okay. Nigga, it, so it says, uh, I've been waiting to see Trans Lead live again. He don't get enough recognition. That's because people don't be wanting to show love where they need to, and yeah. he's a dope ass artist. And then you we gotta, have. You gotta do something, to, you know, for the, the masses to like you before people just respect it. It's like people don't have their own brain. Right, but see, this is you exactly. You radio. This is exactly <laughs> why we wanted to open up our platform and, yeah. and expose people to some of the things that we like. You get what I'm saying? It's yeah. not necessarily nothing but that. Just a set of vibe. If you're chilling yeah. at the crib, you might be cleaning up the living room. You know what I'm saying? To introduce you to some artists you may or may not have heard yep. in a platform that you haven't heard it in. You know what I'm saying? It's like not only are they dope over there, but they're dope everywhere. And that's what 85 is all about. It's about setting the it's tempo and letting like people that. know. Yeah. Somebody said that they was really feeling that it's catch that wave vibe that Translee brought to the show. Make sure you stay tuned. We got plenty of 80 vibes coming to you live. We out. That's a high five because Look I'm at, high. Yo, he got scared. LeVar, you, you still Come in here? Come on, man. Come Give us out. He going to do the joint? Come here. What's up, fool? Look at your tree. Look at your tree. Hey, what's going on? We are in the studio tonight and we are eating some of this good Slim Huskies. We appreciate y'all sending us over some delicious pizza. Make sure y'all go check them out. It really hit the spot and it's really good. For real, for real. Hey, man, what is wrong with you? Slim. It is Slim. Slim Huskies, man. Make sure you go check them out over there on Howl Mill right here in the city of Atlanta. Delicious pizza. It's like wrestling box. I want to hit up nigga outside the head. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, go check him out. He's up! Thank you, guys.